finger. You've not promised not to, though, have no, you? No, I never promised no. that, because I know I can't keep it. No. There's no point promising something you can't keep. That's true. I can promise amazing prizes tonight, though. We have got a brilliant, brilliant showcase for you. Um, my star by at half past is going to be the big three in one. So it's one gorgeous strand of a ruby, emerald, It's on pre-order, my darlings, and it is going to go at an amazing price. And if you're looking at the little pot underneath, thinking, what is that? <laughs> oh, Deb, you brace yourself. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What, what, hold on, what's oh? No, we had um, Labradorite last time. It was us. With oh. the violet. With the purples, yeah. yeah. Well, this is the opposite. It's bleh. Bleh. Uh, bleh. 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 I can see it from here. See? Yeah. It is. It is. It's amazing. It's seriously amazing. It's the kind of blue that makes you go... <gasps> Breathe! Hide the manoeuvre. Don't eat these gemstones. <laughs> Do not eat the gemstones. <laughs> don't inhale them, don't eat them. Um, but definitely get them in your baskets because these are on pre-order as well and they are going to go very quickly. Well, you can see, can't you? I mean, look at the... Int How intense is that blip? That's amazing. It's almost got the feel of Spectralite. So Spectralite oh. is Labradorite, but with really yeah. intense, really yeah. intense colours. And that's the kind of colours that you'd expect to see in Spectralite. Really strong, really bright. It is amazing. Um, there isn't anywhere near as many as I want. Because I want everyone to get up one of these, but it's not going to happen. Um, is there, did you, was it about 90 we've got? Oh! <laughs> You've doubled it. I've just doubled. I've doubled the amount. There we are. No, um, apparently there's 46 of them. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is it? Is it 90 of the? I have. I'm trying to remember these things and and look. There's 96 of the ruby, emerald, and sapphire. I knew there was 90 something of something. <laughs> there's me trying to be clever. Maybe I should have just brought my sheet with me. There we are. 40 out of those ones and that's it. Let's kick start the show though, shall we? They're on pre-order. Definitely get those ones when you can. Now, can we start? Can I, can I be cheeky? Or have you got a plan or can I just wing? Are we with Wayne tonight? Can I just wing right in? Right in? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, he's guess what I've gone for. <laughs> then he got it right. Take a look at these. This is the first time I've actually seen this variety of Jasper, and it's amazing. Oh! It's amazing! This is Star Jasper. Or sometimes called Star Galaxy Jasper. Wow. But it does look like, seriously, it looks like galaxies. How amazing are these? That's impressive. It really is. Every single one... It does make me want to go... But look! How amazing is that? Knowing that this is a natural gemstone, that those colours and those patterns that you're seeing there have been created by nature, and you're getting 245 carats of it for a teeny weeny price. That's, that is amazing. Wow. I've got one, two, three, four, five of them in here. I can't guarantee how many you are going to get. If you get smaller ones, you'll get more of them. If you get bigger ones, you'll get slightly less. But on average, you're probably looking about four to five of them um, that you'll get in a pack. And every single one will be individual. Just want to check, there is no treatment on these at all, is there? Oh, naturale. Oh, naturale. That's what I love about Jasper. It is one of the most amazing... One of the most amazing gemstones, isn't it? Because every single <laughs> variety is so mm. strikingly different. Um, I pulled out my um, leopard jasper. Oh! They are beautiful <laughs> as well. I'd, I've never seen these before. They're fab. They're awesome. They really are. Um, already, I've got Shazza there. Hello, darling. You're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. What would you do with these, darlings? Ooh. Darlings. My darling. Hey, my um, darling. What would I do with these? I don't know because I just, I just want to look at them. They're too good to do something with. It's Ooh. just like, it's one of those, 
it's one of those things where I, I don't want to cover up the front surface because then that I can't rude. see the pattern. Wow! I don't want to cover up the front. I want it to be nude. <laughs> Set it, couldn't you? You could bezel set it, seed bead around it, you could do prong setting on these with your bare copper, that would look amazing. It wouldn't be prong. Why? Because it'd be right. Oh. <laughs> that was get bad. Out the, get <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. It wasn't that bad. <clears throat> it was, it was, it was awful. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> How about I bring you a kyanite find them? A kyanite find the, the cabochons. <laughs> Have we got any kyanite cabochons anywhere? Am I just not... I'm not seeing them or... They're definitely not there. Ooh. Shall we do... Shall we do some blue moonstone in the meantime? No. Or just... Oh, they're there! They're there! Save the day. Thank you. Day. Mike saving the day. Kyanite! The gemstone of the skies. Um, this gemstone is mined quite high up. I say quite high up. Four oh. left. So that's it. Four. Wayne, are you just four left? That's you. You're pulling me with kyanite, and you're saying there's only four left. <clears throat> right. You've got to be choppy, choppy on these ones. They are mined in the Himalayas. It's a fabulous gemstone. You get this wonderful texturing effect because of how it's formed. And also, you get the most amazing bands of white going through it as well. Can you see that? It's almost like a cat's eye, isn't it? But it's not. It looks fab. It does look fab. 19.95 is your price. 15 carats. I've got four of them here. Again, I can't guarantee how many you're going to get, but I can guarantee you'll get your 15 carats. Um, I mean, if you think about the kind of prices that you do expect to see kyanite because it's a collector's yeah. stone, to get four, or even if you just got three, it's, it's fabulous. Absolutely it's fabulous. It's really intense blue, isn't it? It is. As well in those. That's what I like about it. It really does show off the quality of the colour really well. And the more intense the blue of the kyanite, the more desirable it is. And you're getting a really intense blue there, aren't you? Mm. Fabulous look. To get four of them as well. Like I said, I can't guarantee you'll get four, but I can guarantee you'll get 15 carats. You might actually get five or six. I'd be happy with just three, though. If they all turned out that intensity, that's brilliant. Yeah. It is amazing colour. Mm. Make a very nice ring. Ooh, I tell you what they'd work really well with is that um, Blue Sheen Labradorite. Mm -hmm. Very complimentary. The Blue Sheen Labradorite is available for pre-order at this moment in time. Yeah. It really would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Look at that. Wow, that has. Yeah. Yeah, it's it is. got a real deep, rich yeah. colour. And you're actually getting quite a few on this strand that look like that. That's brilliant. Madeira citrine is one of those citrines because, again, citrine is a gemstone that often is found very pale, very pale, mm. almost white, very light colours. But to get those richer, darker tones, you end up paying a premium for what? Oh. No! Uh -huh. Deep, rich. Did you not hear what I just said? Did he say something? I, I said about... He's an ignorant producer. Not this Wayne. It's, the first, it's the first time I've worked with him properly for a full shift. I've had, I've had you for an hour, haven't I? <laughs> Dark colours you often expect to be paying a premium for. That's not a premium. £3.95. Linda, well done, my darling. Jackie, well done to you as well. You are loving it. I think you're loving Wayne as well, aren't you? Look at those prices he's doing. Is this what it's going to be like all, all night, Wayne? All night! Oh. Has that prompted me to start? That's that's prompted me to destroy the set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the promise of all night that's just made me drop everything. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Message come in. Hello, Shazza. Hello. Ooh. Hello, my gorgeous girls and boys. This is a fun show as always with you, Laura and Debs. Love to you all, always, Shazza. Love to you, my darling. It is going to be a fun show. 
We've got Colourful and drop a lot today. That's what we're <laughs> going to be known as. Colourful and drop a lot. <laughs> Sounds like a firm of solicitors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see me standing up trying to defend anybody. No. <laughs> no, it no. just wouldn't happen. Um, how would you defend somebody? They didn't do it. Oh, is that how you they say it? They just didn't do Objection. it. Objection. Objection, my lord, or something, is it? Yeah. My lord. I don't know. <laughs> Objection, my lord! Can you imagine? Objection! To the price. Yes! For my dearest We dreams. should do... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We should do a courtroom scene one day, shouldn't we? No, I'd laugh too much. I'd, I'd be sent out. Would you? Uh, In contempt of contempt court. Contempt of court, yeah. Oh, dear. Um, Iolite. Oh, did you do jury duty? Wayne, our producer, did jury duty. <laughs> oh, it's Paul! Paul. Yeah. Oh, sorry! Clearly I can't tell the difference between voices. I'm useless. Mm -hmm. There we are. Um, <laughs> Wayne was the one being charged. <laughs> Wayne was the one being charged and Paul was the one doing a lot of laughing, apparently. <laughs> you have taken the prices far too low! Objection! <laughs> 75 carats of Iolite, graduated irregular plane drops. Please tell me you're not dropping that price any lower. I think that's it. £3.95. £3.95, which is ridiculously far too low anyway as it is. Iolite's graduated irregular plane drops. Iolite's a really clear quote gemstone, gorgeous one to get your hands on. Um, at that price, that is a stocking stuffer price. Yes, it, I'm mentioning Christmas now. I'm doing it. Stocking stuffer, <laughs> stocking stuffer, stocking stuffer. Stocking <laughs> well, I used to work on the American Channel, and it's a stocking stuffer. You stuff your oh. stockings. I hope I didn't realise there was a transatlantic difference. Yeah, stocking stuffers and stocking. Stock, <laughs> we say stocking fillers, don't we? We do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of stuffing the stocking. I don't think I can say it. I'm not, I'm not even going to try. You're not going to try? No. It's brilliant. Instead um, of stuffing the turkey. I don't know about stuffing the turkey. Because <laughs> I always get worried it's not going to cook properly on the inside. I don't like turkey. Do you not? <laughs> Fair enough, though. It doesn't matter, then. So it uh, solves the issue. One yeah. thing you do like, there are these prices. <laughs> yeah. And this gorgeous always strand. It is going. Stuff your baskets. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Stuff those baskets and move it on. <laughs> now, how about... Fluorite. Fluorite. It'll be fluorite on the night. It won't, because I've just destroyed the uh, strand. So I'll hold it so it doesn't drop off. I've only lost one stone so far. <sighs> so it's 320 carats of fluorite that you're looking at here. Every single one of these has got the most amazing softness of tone. Can you see that? Can you see that? They are beautiful. I love it when the purple and the green come together. Mmm. Yeah. Re what? Oh. Okay, I think you're on the wrong day. We had clearance yesterday, honey. We did have clearance yesterday. You're trying to you're trying to recreate that, aren't you? He is. I think he's achieving it. He is achieving it. Two yeah. pounds ninety-five. Yeah. You're getting an eighty centimetre strand. That is more than two strands together. Normally, all strands are about 30, 34 centimetres mm. thereabouts. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight thirty. Yeah. 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 Um, so you're getting eighty centimetres. The size of your nuggets is three by four to twelve by six. You've got loads of it. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Tree of life. Yeah. Tree Lavin of life. I went out into my mum's garden today and she had some lavender and Ooh. the colours were just like that because it's almost got like silvery green. Yes, for it the does. Leaves, yeah, hasn't yeah. It? And then you've, you've got the, the, beautiful the lavender blues, tones. Yeah. yeah. All I can say is get two, get three, get four. At these kind of prices, it's the best time to buy. The best time to buy is when you see a price as low as three pounds. Well, it is, yeah. isn't it? For fluorite yeah. and for the length yeah. of strand that you're getting there, there is no point in hanging around. That is not going to be a deal that's going to continue. Um, into single figures already on this one. There is loads of you with it in your baskets. I can't guarantee you're going to get it if you don't check that basket out now, my darlings. It's a whopping great big 320 carats. 
and it's it's just one of those that you will use time and time and time again it looks great as stretchy bracelets it looks great as a tree of life yep you can um i like using nuggets like this with a big round just dotted through every now and again oh, so nice. if you've got any fluorite rounds or yeah. um even a clear quartz would look amazing in yeah, it there. would just a You'd have a really nice contrast, actually, with yeah, the, the light transition. Yeah, it really lovely, mm. yeah. yeah. So really... just the, the smooth round with those nuggets yeah. works really well. Really simple mm. and re-strand like that. Re-strand it. Mm. Done. Done. Uh, now, I have got more in baskets than stock available, so fingers crossed. People are actually multiplying as well, so I can't guarantee. Check it out, see if it works. If it does, amazing. If it doesn't, then I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, I've got some pink sabo. Not that I'm excited about that at all. <laughs> I love pink sapphire. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And this one, that is a hot pink That's sapphire. very pink. It's, I was going to say a candy floss pink or a cotton candy pink, but it's actually more intense than that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like... It's a savage pink. It's a savage, rich, yeah. deep... It's brilliant. Can I just check what treatment's on this? If you haven't already guessed, there are no treatments on this at all. Um, and you'll probably already know. So I've got, a, I've got a gorgeous pink sapphire ring. I absolutely adore it. Um, it's fissure filled. A lot of sapphire, especially pink sapphire and ruby, tends to be fissure filled. because Basically, they have little cracks in them and they put resin over the surface or a glass over the surface, which is of a similar refractive index. Um, this doesn't have that at all, which means you can be making jewellery that is natural that is stunning and you don't have to warn people that it needs to be looked after really well because if you've got fissure fissure filling in anything mm. it makes it quite difficult to clean because if you use the kind of substances and solutions yeah. that people often use all the all the sonic cleaners it can damage the stone so you can actually get yourself the authenticity card to show that this is pink sapphire and you can tell them that you don't have to worry about how you clean the stone in regard to yeah. it's it's it really important filled. actually the aftercare of your gemstones it's surprising how few people know how to look after yeah. them yeah. it really really is and nobody really tells you that information no if you go to a jewelers and you buy a piece of jewelry that is generally it i mean i, I was in um well, it was on the honeymoon and we got stranded in dubai <laughs> it's, I know. it's a great I, place got, to be stranded i got stranded in new york and people are like Oh, How did you get stranded? Was... What a shame. What yeah. a shame. Yeah. Uh, we, went, we went to... Um, so they put us up in a hotel overnight because the airplane had been cancelled and redone for like 24 hours later or something like that. Um, and we went and had a look in the hotel jewellers because I spotted a gorgeous piece of lapis lazuli that I wanted. Oh. Um, they refuse to tell me the price of the lapis lazuli. It's ancient, it's ancient, it's not. That's mass produced. I know it's mass produced. Why don't you just tell me the price? It's about £30, isn't it? No, 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 you want to come and have a look at these ones. So I, I ended up buying something else. Right. And they offered to clean my jewellery for free and I had a coral on. My nan, the only piece of jewellery that she had was actual, actual jewellery, not just costume jewellery, was a coral. And I said, you don't, don't clean it in the what's it. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Before I could do anything, mm. he'd shoved it in the... The cleaner, so even a jeweller didn't understand that no. coral is a stone you do not do something like that to. So, for you to have something like this is amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, I am in the process of writing care, a care guide, oh, so that's good. There we are. Um, a Ruth Guild, yeah, I think it's important. We need to know how to look after our yeah, jewellery. It is. Oh, just a chain. I don't see it. I don't see it. Well, the, the zircon's there. Zircon, the oldest stone known to man. 
The beauty of a zircon, and it's often compared to diamonds because it's ability to create fire, mm. to show fire off is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But it's also, you get a lot more from it. A diamond's singly refractive, which means the light goes in once and gets bent, and then that splits into the colour stream. The light goes in this and gets split twice. So you have two beams of light running through it rather than one. So you get so much more of the fire, so much more of the brilliance, so much more of the beauty. Um, and it's older than diamonds. So you, if you want to have a gemstone that is incredible and also stands out and has loads of diamond-like qualities, this is the one. And that's no, nowhere near a diamond price point. Not many people know about it. If this were mined in the same way as diamonds are mined, it would yeah. be deplete within about a year. Yeah. So thankfully, not many people know about it, which means we can bring it to you at a lower price. See it, like it, love it, want it, grab it. It is such an amazing stone to have. Really, really amazing stone to have. There's a beauty and an elegance to everything this stone has. The light, the way it dances, the way it moves, the clarity, the beauty, the slight hint of almost a, almost a chestnutty colour. Yeah, it's got a really soft tone, that yeah. one, hasn't it? It's beautiful, really beautiful. I've always adored this stone. It's very unusual. And as a collector, it is an ultimate collector's piece. Mm. Ultimate. Amanda's already there. Amanda's already got hers. Well done, my darling. It's so beautiful. Imagine just popping this through as sort of a highlighting stone every so often. Yeah. Just a little yeah, twinkle. Just to catch, yeah. catch the light. I kind of yeah. want to put it with spinel as well. Yeah, yeah, that'd work. Be nice. Mmm. You'd have sparkle. You would. <laughs> you would. Is it um, blue topaz on there? It would work really nicely with that. Yes, it would look really nice with this. This is coming up next, by the way. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, I like that. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Weren't they ice, ice lollies, jubblies? I don't know. They were triangular shape ice lollies, weren't they? They were the ones oh. that were kind of like a funny shape. Yeah, yeah, they were. Triangle, but. but like oh, two triangles two on top of each other, yeah. yeah. Two triangles on top of each other. I've never S seen one. Have you not? No. The jubbly. Oh, they were brilliant. No. Can you remember the jubblies? Do they <laughs> still do jubblies? <laughs> no. <laughs> Message in. Let us know what your favourite ice cream or ice lolly was. Six zero triple seven. Just a chalk ice. You like a chalk <laughs> ice? <laughs> Plain and simple. Just a simple. <laughs> we have got no chalk ices in the studio, but we do have sky blue topaz, which is lovely jubbly. Um, 72 carats, sky blue topaz. I would love to see a sky that blue. Wow. For that quality. Absolutely. That the many price gemstone. is amazing. You are getting everything. <laughs> Please do not Google jubblies that is what we've, we've just had happen in the gallery <laughs> turn the computer off boys <laughs> it is not worth the out of the window, wasting your time on that one <laughs> um so <laughs> we are cramming as many on here as possible um and you have got a beautiful beautiful clarity it is one of the most popular gemstones that we have. And when you get that kind of colour, it's perfect with anything, isn't it? It is. Because it's, it's not too dominant. But, I mean, in terms of the way the light is actually reacting with those stones, they're, they're just going to look incredible. With Oh, you could put those with the labradorite because of the blue that was coming out. Of the yes. right, and that would yes. amazing. It yes, could yes, almost yes, be yes, like, yes. Um, yes. like a sun ray around an oval or a round cabochon, and then stitch it so that they're, they'd sit like at an angle, and you'd get all of mm. the way the light plays with the. Not around, yeah. then, don't we, really? 
yeah. Is there a round in there? Have was an got... oval? Yeah, an oval would work. There's an oval, there's an oval. That would look really nice. You could um, stitch them and do some bead embroidery. Good plan. Very, very good plan. Um, now, £34.95, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal quality that you're getting, an amazing mm. price. Check those baskets out on that one, my lovelies. Absolutely love it. Now, believe it or not, it's time for the first star buy. We have got the big three for you. We have got ruby, we've got emerald, and we've got sapphire, all in one strand. And straight away, I'm captivated by this one, which almost, if you look at it, it almost looks like it's a watermelon tourmaline. So you've got a slight difference of colour. Mm. It's not tourmaline, of course, it is your beautiful ruby and then you've got those beautiful greens of the emeralds really vivid do we have a specific location for the emeralds or or is it mixed it's mixed i thought so because you have got very distinct color differences don't you you've got slight more bluer tones in one of them in comparison to the one in the center for example so you might well have a mix of um, Brazilian in there and Zambian. And then you've got the different colours of the sapphire as well. A lot of people don't know there's, there's any other colour apart from blue, but it's really nice to be able to see when you've got yellows, when you've got pink, when you've got um, oranges as well. Particularly the orange ones. Wow. They are magic, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Of course, if you get a pinky orange, that's a paparaccia, isn't it? Um, can't guarantee any of these will be, but look at that gorgeous, almost a tangerine colour that you're getting. It is beautiful. And at 17.95, you are getting the big three for a tiny, 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 tiny price point. When you think about when you look at emeralds in a jeweler's, how much are you kind of looking at for the emeralds? How much are you looking at for sapphires? How much, you, even, even tiny, tiny sapphires. Um, of course, they're set into gold, they're set into silver, and it's completely different in that regard, but you are still looking at emeralds, you're still looking at sapphires, and you're still looking at ruby there, under 15 pounds under 15 pounds when you think about what you can do with these and if you are making to sell you could quite easily make one piece with a few of these and then get the money back for the strand it would be simple to do wouldn't it yeah yeah you, you wouldn't need to put them all into one piece no just a ring with I don't know, three, three them, or yeah. five in would do it it is a magical strand I'd be very tempted at that price, though. I'd want to re-strand it and just turn it into a necklace. Yeah. Bit of chain. Dun, dun, dun. Bright colours. They are amazing, aren't they? They are. They're really intense, the colour. Mm. It's really strong. Really rich on the greens, really rich on the reds. I love the fact that reds come in such a variety, right from the lightest possible red you can get, right through to really dark, almost burgundy kind of colours that you're getting in there. I'd be very tempted to just separate the rubies out on their own. 40th wedding anniversaries. Ah, yes. Ruby wedding. Yeah. It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Hold those lines, my lovelies. Now, I've got some potatoes for you. Freshly mm. baked. Well, they're not. They're potato pearls. These. I want to eat some potatoes now. Yeah. I want to eat. Is it? Baked potato is your least favourite version. What's your favourite version of potato? They still sell jubblies. Are you still researching jubblies? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, apparently you can still get them from a very well-known uh, supermarket. 
There we are. Didn't know that. No. There we go. Uh, Julie says, I used to love a funny foot ice cream when I was little. Funny foot? I don't know. Mm. Oh, I do. That was a big foot, wasn't it, with a big toe? Yeah, my sister used to have those. Ooh. Yeah, not the big feet. <laughs> my sister used to have big feet. It's okay, they're smaller no. now. What? <laughs> Mine my, my are the big feet. Another message come through. Oh, I've broken this strand as well. Uh -oh. um, I loved rockets. Yes, they were amazing. Um, they were strawberry flavoured pyramid shaped with a cardboard wrapper. Uh, when you lick the texture in the mouth was like slush puppy. Ooh. Ooh. I don't remember that. I thought, I remember, I remember the uh, rocket, a rocket rocket. The proper rocket shaped rocket. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you have, if you if you don't do well with ice cream, then of course, I mean, if you've got dairy intolerances, there's vegan ice creams now, isn't there? There are soy-based yeah. ones as well. They're quite yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, I used to like those. I think they were called oysters. Can I not bring it? Okay. Are you are you bringing something on that's supposed to be a star by? This is the star by coming up later. Uh, At eight o'clock, Wayne, you're getting carried away with your jubblies. It's all good. It's all. I'm destroying the strand anyway, so I've undone the knot at the end. I need to stop <laughs> playing with the knots. That's in the fairness. second one, is it tonight? It is the yeah. second one. Um, so that's coming up later. Don't worry about that. How about I bring you some lavender amethyst hexagons? Hexagons. 140 carats is what you're getting, and I'm, all I think of with these is earrings and rings. I know they, they sit really nicely as well if you have them as a bracelet, Yeah. but just look at the colour on these because it's the most delicate, soft, beautiful purple, isn't it? It looks a little bit like an ice lolly itself. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It's got like an iciness to it, doesn't it? Pop this with a blue. In fact, if I bring the topaz back from earlier. Ooh. Hello. Mm. Yeah, they That's... make nice earrings actually. The hexagon yeah. and then the, the topaz drop underneath. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I'm liking that. I am liking the idea of that. Also liking the price as well. So you are getting on this strand, how many are you getting? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty, two, four, six, eight, thirty-eight. <laughs> You're getting thirty-eight. So how much does that work out per gemstone? Wayne! 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 One, two, Thirty-eight. Fourteen pounds ninety-five divided by thirty-eight. It's going to be what forty-three p. Thirty-nine p. Way off. Oh, yeah, way off. That's not bad. That was. Uh, that's not. That's close enough. Well, close yeah. enough. <laughs> so, thirty-eight pence. Mm. Thirty-eight pence each. They've been shaped beautifully. They've got a really lovely tone to them. They've got the frosted elements. Which I quite like. I like the idea of um, like doing some themed jewellery. Ice cream. <laughs> you could um, do this on a bead loom Ooh. and make a cuff. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. It would. It'd sit. Barbara! Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, you said fab lolly with hundreds and thousands. Oh, I used to love those. They had the little jelly light bit in the middle, didn't they? Jelly and an ice. Oh no! I don't, I don't know if it was. It wasn't jelly. Oh, it might have been jelly. 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 Ooh. I think it's it's just a flavoured ice now. But it used to be like a jelly-like substance in the centre of it. Did it? Yeah. That's just wrong. I remember? Oh. <laughs> was it jazz? Jazz or zazz or something? And it was a. It was multi. It looked like it had been a tight. It was milk, dairy milk, and it looked like it had been tie-dyed. It was like green and yellow yeah. and... chocolate? I can't remember. It was, it was a really weird one, but it was like... Oh, I don't know that one either. It looked very strong colours. 
<laughs> Very strong colours. Um, ooh, what's... Why are they always so far away? I reckon I could read... Oh, no. Because I'm so little, thanks. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for that. Sorry, I ignored you then completely, Deb. No, I, I thought I might have been able to reach it then, but no, it's just a little bit too far. A little bit too far for you as well. Yeah. Well, thankfully, it was big enough for me to reach because it's 130 carats. Um, Size-wise, they're five by seven to uh, sorry, five to seven mil. So it's got the graduation on there. It's 31 centimeters in length, and of course, it is the gorgeous spinel, which also has the same crystal structure as the diamond. I love these. I think they're gorgeous. They are, aren't they? Yeah. They go with anything. They look amazing. Yeah. They've got. You want it on the soundboard. <laughs> I, can, I can have it recorded for you for the soundboard if you want. Um, they are <laughs> just the most amazing at reflecting the, the light. <laughs> but is that my uh, specialist subject? I can, do a, I can do an incredible clown hall. Horn. Hall? Horn. Um, Fiona, hello darling. Hi JM. For Deb, is it okay to use copper wire taken from electric flex and how do you treat it to make jewellery? Oh, very good I question. Have, have yeah. you? Mm -hmm. Yep, I've stripped copper wire out well, of them. Um, copper, isn't I, it? Yeah, I don't go and nick it from churches or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but you can use it. Yeah, you can use it. I don't. Um, <laughs> If you want, if you want, the, <laughs> if you want to, to use Sorry. it, sometimes it comes out and it's already soft enough to work with. Um, if it isn't, what I have done in the past to anneal and soften it is wrap it into a coil and then just heat it either gently with a blowtorch until it glows like a cherry red colour or you can actually do it over um, like a camping stove. So hold it in pliers. Yeah, don't hold then, it with your hands. Yeah, and then do it over. <laughs> just heat it gently and evenly around the, the coil. And um, that will soften it up. <laughs> that will anneal it so you can work with it. I've just got visions of people now trying to, to climb up church roofs. Church to get, roofs. <laughs> sitting with camping the, stoves. Yeah. No, don't oh, do that. Oh, dear. But yeah, you can use it. Yeah. Not the church roof stuff. Not that. No. No. Um, that's a very good question. Thank you, my darling, and thank you for answering it. That's all in right. In such a graceful manner. Now, I've got some sunstone. Oh, heck. I've got the chain attached. Oh. 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 I'll bring you the chain momentarily. Now, sunstone is feldspar. This is a really nice one. Ooh. Ooh. It's almost like, um, it looks like rose, uh, you know, the um, strawberry quartz. So you've got little flecks in there. Look at that. Little flecks, almost like glitter. It's like fairy dust. It's absolutely brilliant. Three pounds ninety-five as well. You've got two hundred and thirty carats. You've got seven by six to sixteen by twelve millimeters. You've got just sprinkles and sprinkles of glitter all the way through this. It is absolutely magical. The colours are beautiful, soft, sort of a almost a morganite pink, isn't it? Almost a morganite pink. Yeah, it is actually. It's got the most beautiful tone to it. How sweet is that? Really love that. You've, you've got the most amazing shimmer to it. There, can you see? Can you see the little flex? Aha. There it is. I'm thinking a ring because yeah. you're going to get the most amazing play of light across the surface of that. Because it is one of those stones that if you look at it from a distance, you wouldn't tell it's there. But if you, like this one, this one, if you catch the light just right, let me see if I can get the... Oh, come on! Ah, there. <laughs> Do 
there. A little bit there, you can see, yeah. You're being so shy right now. Get it home, look at it. If you fall, there, there. If you fall in love mm -hmm. with it, keep it. If you don't, send it back. But I think once you see it, you're going to fall even more in love with it because it is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really is. Yeah, there's a, a lovely quality to it. £3.95 as well. Loads of you coming in for this one. I've got a collector in Suffolk, I've got a collector in uh, Greater London, Linda in Cheshire's there as well. Um, Karina, Linda in Derbyshire. Good luck to all of you, my darlings. You're going to get this and you're going to love it. It's fabulous. Hold those lines. Again, apologies for the state of my nails. Um, I've been continuing with the winemaking theme. Oh, have you? <laughs> and I've actually um, not finished the, second, the first wine off properly. Which is just remembered, I was supposed to do it before I left the house today. Oops. Tomorrow will be fine. Hopefully. Uh, no, it's not grapes. I'm making elderberry. Elderberry wine. So I was supposed to add the um, grape concentrate today. Oh. Massage from Philip in Staffordshire. Hello. You all right? Um, uh, Favourite ice cream was a screwball. Oh, brilliant, with the bubblegum at the bottom. Ice cream with bubblegum when you finished it. Yeah, I remember those. Hard. It was, because it was so cold, oh. you go... <laughs> yeah, I remember those. And it was, it, the ice cream was flavoured bubblegum, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the whole oh, thing was, was bubblegum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Fiona says, hello darling, um, thanks, always made a, all, ah. already made a bangle but wasn't sure if it needed any treatment before wearing it. No, no it should no. be alright because it's just pure it's copper, just, isn't it? Yeah, it's just copper, yeah. so yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, now, I've got for you rose gold plated, 925 sterling silver popcorn chain necklace with round slider ball. Um, so the round slider ball is there, you've got your little ones at the end there to stop it from falling off. You've also got your little hoops there so you can attach something to it. It's entirely up to you what you want to attach. It is. Preferably not a person. <laughs> no. No, that would be rather large to wear around the neckline. It would. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my person. I'm going to wear it on sunny days. So we have got... One piece in total, we've got a handful of them available, and it's £20. Not today. Oh. We've actually seen the bracelet going for that price, haven't we? Yeah. That's, that is incredible. So you're getting the necklace, which is a lot longer than the, uh, the bracelet version, and it's still sterling silver. It's still got the rose gold plating. It's still got all of those factors. We've just dropped that price. I think Wayne still thinks we're in the clearance. Yeah, was the response we just yeah. had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, 14.95. You can have more than one if you want, but you <laughs> need to be quick. <laughs> oh, you could put the um the black yeah. spinel faceted round spinel on the front. Ooh. That would be very glam. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you attach them then? Just beading thread would do it. If oh, you really? wanted. Yeah. You could pop a few um, sterling silver with rose gold space beads in there. Yeah. So then if you just use your beading thread, attach it into the loops with crimps. And oh, that's um, it. That's it, yeah. So you'd put it around the loop and put then you'd crimp it. Put your thread through the loop and, yeah, and crimp and then put a crimp cover on. Thread up your necklace and then crimp. Put yeah. it through the loop, back through the crimp. Done. Done. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. Uh, Nicole, well done to you, my darling. Karen, good luck to you as well. It is an amazing chance to get a hold of it. We normally see them a lot higher than that. There we are. Now, ooh. Ooh. Oh, so glamorous. <laughs> oh, that's my shoulder. Oh, that's my shoulder. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul. Now, I have got an open heart bracelet for you. I've got an open heart. 
I think I'll wear it on my sleeve far too much. Oh. 925. It's a nice thing to do. 925 sterling silver. You can wear this on your uh, sleeve if you want to. But on the wrist would be a you lot could. more preferable. <laughs> It's 7.5 inches, and aren't they sweet? Aren't they really cute? They are really nice, actually. Yeah. We, and I've still got some of the the little ones that we used to have oh, in the finding pack. Oh, yes, packs. yes, yes. So that would work really well with that. Yeah. You could combine them. I won't wear, wear this on my wrist. You I'll wouldn't. Wear it on my ankle. You'd wear it on your ankle. Yeah. Ah. They look really yeah. nice. nice 7.5 going to be big enough for an ankle? Uh, yeah. Let me check. Yeah, I think so. By the time you've put um, no. a clasp on there. Oh, yeah, yeah no, you, yeah, but it's already got, it's got a clasp on one side. Has it? Yeah. And then it just attaches into the uh, final, into the wand. So you'd need to get yourself an extender chain. Yeah, pop a little Because it's just slightly shy. Or pop a few um, gemstones on there. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You could. Yeah. Um, drop in that price. He is thinking it's uh, clearance today. 8 95 It's brilliant. If you want to keep it as it is, it works really nicely. Because of the size of the hearts themselves, it would work really nicely as a charm bracelet as well. That would be really sweet if you just had yeah. little... Little uh, ruby drops. Yeah, it'd be really nice. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. No, no, I do. I love you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, thanks. I love the simplicity of it. It's really elegant. It's really glamorous. And it's just, it's got a lovely, lovely, delicate nature to it. And at £8.95, it's a brilliant price. It is. You can pay that for two magazines. You can, yeah, easily. Some magazines are that price and yeah, above. They are. It does make me wince they a little are. when the magazine's more expensive than books. Yeah, I tend to put them back then, though. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You're getting three and a half grams of sterling silver in this, which is amazing. Really good amount of sterling silver, beautiful look to it, and an amazing price point. It's a perfect stocking stuffer or a gift draw treat. But I know what you've been waiting for, so let's get to it. We are going to bring you the Labradorite. It is our star buy. Come back later. I'm just a little bit distracted by the the sheen. Have you ever heard of spectralite? Spectralite is a, a variety of labradorite that has got such a strong, intense colour. They kind of decided, you know what? It's so good. It's so dramatic. We need to give it a different name. This has got the hallmarkings of what you'd expect with that intensity of colour. I mean, look at this. Blue sheen, ahoy! Masses and masses and masses of colour comes out of this stone. Oh, how amazing is that? Mm. That's one of them. Let's, let's just try another for a moment. Already? We've got people on the lines. Diane's there. Um, I've got Jay and Kent. I've got Karen. I've got Collector in Essex. I've got Collector in Tyne and Weir. Um, I've got lots of you wanting to get your hands on this one. We haven't even brought the price to you yet. It is going to be remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. £15 and you are getting one of the strongest colours. One of the strongest effects on a Labradorite. And you're getting it for a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of what you'd be expecting to get it for. It is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Just take a look again at the colours that you're getting. You'll get 85 carats in total. Just how good are these colours? They're amazing. They are. They mm. absolutely, hands down are. They are so good. It's 
One of those gemstones that we keep saying the quality is just getting better and better and better and I think we're proving it massively here. We are giving you incredible high quality, we're giving you the most amazing glow and we're getting it for the most incredible prices. Yeah. Because now we've gone back time and time again and reordered and bought loads and loads and loads of Labradorite, we are able to access some of the most intense colours, some of the most beautiful tones and the most beautiful, just look again, just look. As a collector, I'd be buying this and just sitting with it on my table and looking at it. What would you do? Um, I think they're a really nice size in that pack for rings, mm. actually. Mm. And, and when you've got a colour like that, that's so, just so beautiful and it's dramatic, crosses isn't it? the entire gemstone, to actually have that as a ring is hours of fun. <laughs> just don't drive with it. No. No, they get distracted then. You do they? get distracted, yeah. you do. Uh, but for an example, how this would look as a ring, it, you can see it from there, can't you? You can see the glow. How pretty would yeah. that be as a ring? I love the shape as well on that one. Yeah, I do. It elongates the finger. So yeah. not only does it have an attractive look, it elongates the finger, which makes you yeah. feel better. Yeah. It makes me look at my hand going, oh, I haven't put that much Ooh. weight on after all. <laughs> It is brilliant. Just that, that richness of colour. Oh, love it. Mm. Absolutely love it. Actually, as well, in, in a, um, a cuff, if you did Ooh. a beaded cuff and you could um, bezel set it with your size 15s or size Ooh. 11s and then, yeah, just go f around the wrist then with beadwork. Would you do it that way or would you do it that I'd way? I'd do it that way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Now I'm thinking I want to do like an entire arm sleeve. <laughs> Just with studded. Or chain mail. Chain all mail yeah. and then with those all the way down the arm. Yeah. Now there is a lot of them in baskets right now. Check those baskets out because we are moving on from this very shortly. They are flying out as you can imagine. You've got the most amazing colours. They, they absolutely are. You still get that 30 day money back guarantee of course. Um, so get it home and if you decide, you know what, you don't want to have those amazing colours, you can send it back, get a full <laughs> refund. I don't, I don't think you're going to, to be fair, because I think you're going to go, whoa, that's incredible. They are just, oh, again, every single time you pick one up, you instantly get distracted. How gorgeous is that? That's, that is phenomenal, isn't it? It's, yeah. Yeah. Really is. Amazing. Um, good luck to Hampshire, Essex, Time Weir. Good luck to each and every single one of you who has got on those phone lines. You will be answered as soon as possible, I promise you that. Now, um, I am joined by the one and only Deb, if we hadn't already guessed that. <laughs> she will be bringing us a demo in the next hour and we have got the kit. It is yes. going to be fabulous. You loved this kit, didn't you? I did. It's a bit, yeah, a bit different. It's croissanté. No. Uh, That's the second kit? Yeah. We've got a little bit of a, <laughs> a food theme. Bit of a food theme, it's brilliant. Unintentional. It's brilliant. Um, so we are going to bring you the kit in the next hour. We've also got some more amazing deals coming up. Um, don't forget at eight o'clock, you are gonna get your hands on those gorgeous pearls. And I'm gonna give you a heads up now. We do have blue diamonds coming up in this show. It is gonna be one of those on and gone moments, but it's a very special moment to be able to bring blue diamonds to you, actual faceted blue diamonds. They're gonna be coming up very soon as well. So don't go anywhere. It's going to be an amazing little treat with a gorgeous Deb and the kit coming up right after this. I shall see you in two. <laughs> You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields, and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. 
Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello, <laughs> welcome back. Got a little bit excited then and fell off my chair. Yeah. Nearly. Not quite fully off the chair, but got a little bit excited. I me was and, worried. Me and Debs are going shopping. Yay! <laughs> it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant. Um, talking of brilliant, we have the kit. And as it says behind me, making jewellery with textiles. We are going to be making jewellery with satin cord. So this kit is giving you an opportunity to work with a really lovely variety of cord. It's a satin cord, so it's got a softness of touch to it. If you run your fingers along it, it's smooth. It is really lovely against the skin and it takes the colour really well. So here we're giving you a chance to get green. And when we say green, it's, it's like the most intense green. You know when you have the, the grass goes slightly greener, doesn't it, just before yeah. a storm? Yeah. And everything looks a little bit more vivid, doesn't it? Yeah. That is the kind of colour that I think of when I look at this. It's almost like you've got all of those chlorophyll just really going, reaching up going, give me the water! <laughs> give me the water! It's got that kind of feel to it. It is absolutely magical to see how well it's taken that colour. And look again over the surface, because it is satin, you've got that lovely texture. And at the moment, have you spotted how many sort of kimono style tops there are? 
the sort of satin yeah. kimono style tops. Yeah. This would complement something like that beautifully, and they're everywhere at the moment. That's true, it would. Yeah. I managed to buy a few for myself, and I've not had the confidence yet to wear them. Oh! I will wear them at some point, you but I, I do kind of look like I'm in a dressing gown. <laughs> and the satin style trousers Quite are out worry. at the moment as well. So I've, I've, I've built up the confidence to wear those. It looks like I'm in pyjamas. Yeah. But I love them. But imagine They're the jewellery you could make with this. In fact, you've also got black um, satin cord as well. This time it's 10 metres. Sorry, it's 10 metres that you're getting of the um, green and it's one mil um, in the actual gauge. And you're also getting 10 metres of the black satin cord, again, with the one millimetre gauge. Love that combination. Halloween's coming up. That's very true. Black and green are always a great combination for Halloween. Black and orange, black and green, black and purple. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah. It's not that far away yeah. either, is it really? There's logic there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, to go along with these two cords, we have given you a lovely selection of gemstones. I love how these are wrapped around each other. So you're getting black onyx. So we will start off with doo -doo -doo -doo, your green quartz micro faceted rounds. That would be this one, not the one I'm holding. 10 carats and it's dyed green and that's really lovely because you've got little intonations throughout that. And with it being microfaceted, it's 2 mil. It's a 30 centimetre stride you're getting for that one. Then you've got your black onyx graduated faceted drops, which are 5 by 3 to 13 by 8 and that's an 18 centimetre strand. And they have got a lovely quality to the onyx. There we are. Because on some of them, you get almost a brown sheen to them and a slight translucency. So it has a really lovely look. And then we have also got your green colour dyed quartz plain rounds of 6mm, which is the perfect size for a stretchy bracelet. Um, and that's a 36 yeah. centimetre strand that you're getting there as well. So you're getting two of the cords, you're getting three strands of gemstones, and on top of all of that, you're also going to be getting your Kuma Hemo accessory pack, which is gold plated um, and they're three millimetre size. It's a pack of three that you'll be getting. Aren't they brilliant? So all your Kuma Hemo accessories. So if you are, I haven't seen Kuma Hemo for a little bit, have we? No. So no. it's nice to be able to have that Kuma Hemo pack. How have you incorporated these into your jewellery? Um, well, we've got them in the tassely piece, so we've got like the charm carrier at the top, um, and then with the tassels. I like how you utilise that. Off... Sorry. I like no. how you utilise the charm carrier. Yeah, it's it turns it into a connector. Yeah. So it's um, yeah, because. Quite often, I don't really use it as a charm carrier or as a bail. No. So, using it as a using it as a connector is uh, is just a different way to use it. So you are getting a pack of three here. You are getting your charm carriers. You're getting your toggle clasps and your hoops. You're also going to be getting um, the ends there. And you will be getting your oval jump rings as well, which are open oval jump rings. You're getting all of that for $21.95. Three strands of gemstones, two cords of your satin and a pack of your kumahima, which is three packs. Um, it's it's going to be one of those that you're going to use in so many different ways. It's really lovely. And satin cord, how did you find working with the satin cord? I like it. I think it's, it gives a more um, luxurious finish because it has got that sheen on, mm. on there. So it gives a, a much more luxurious look than your Eslon cords. I like it a lot. But yeah, it's nice. Mm. So what are you demoing? Let's have a bit of a I wonder. Was, I was going to do the um, Kumahimo. Kumahimo. I'm wondering. So. I'm wondering. So the, the um, necklace is actually two necklaces. You can wear ah. it as like the tassely one or with the flower on the front. But 
it's um, so it just it just goes over the head. So I thought we we could look at the. Um, you see that just slides. I like that. It's really unusual. So again, that's using the the charm carrier. Yeah. So I thought we'd have a look at that and the sort of different elements in there and the Kumahimo section. Cool. So if you wanted to use the um, the the bale or the charm carrier, then if you this is actually my one of my favourite um, Kumahimo packs because uh, these are so just really clean, simple, mm. contemporary, so nice and nice and neat. Right, so what we're going to do is take um, quite a long length of cord. So I've got uh, about a metre and a half. Um, and then all I did was Take two of the cords. Oh, don't wander. Thank you. <laughs> Pop the, the ends of your cord through that loop on the bale. So I did actually get two through quite easily. No. Oh, I know why. Because to get the second one through, what I did was hold it quite tight there. And then, if I use the other end, that gives you more space then to actually fit the cord through. So. Do you find it intimidating that I'm leaning right over your shoulder nah. to see what's going on? <laughs> no. I get really paranoid. Do you? Yeah. I get really nervous about loads of things. I think it just, well, I've decided in life that you just have to do it and get on with stuff and, and not worry about things. That's a good way of looking at it. Otherwise, you spend all your time and energy worrying about stuff. Yeah. And then you don't do it. Yeah. So, I don't, I, not much worries me just lately. It's, uh, I need a piece of that. Yeah. I need that, that mindset. Yeah. There's it's too many times that you miss opportunities because you kind of go, yeah. oh, what if, and yeah. So we've got both our threads going through there. And then what I did was I actually tied a knot. So it's um, just like a little bit of a different texture going on there. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a detail as well. I quite like the informality of it. It is um, nice because you've got different levels of, of yeah. uh, tone and texture yeah. and, and feel as well. Yeah, so the the, um, the braid section looks different to the, the smooth cords. So all I did was take my Kumahimo board and then... So I've got two of those cords either side of the, the dots which are north, south, east and west and then just take um, another length of the cord, so two more lengths of the one and a half meters each and then find the center and all I did was I laid that across the disc and then popped the cords across. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen Kimima. It's been ages, hasn't it? Yeah. We've just not really had it on very very much at all. So I thought it was quite nice actually getting the Kumahimo pack and being able to to actually do some. I love I used to do loads, loads of it, but I'm not very good putting gemstones on 
and then I don't think it necessarily needs it though, does I, it? Because I think no, it looks beautiful on its like own. No, I just like it as a cord. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is bring the bottom left-hand cord up and into the slot next to that left-hand cord at the top. And then the, the cord on the right comes down over the top and into the next slot on the right. So then you twist the board quarter turn. So we need to remember that these cords here are actually um, not fixed in at the minute. Yep. So don't pull it too hard. So bring that over and into the first slot over there. And then the one on the right comes down into that slot to the right. So quarter turn. And it's, it's just like, it was so nice to sit and do some kumahimo and just almost mm -hmm. get into that meditative state where you're not thinking about anything and your worries just slip away. So you just repeat that process and you just go around. And once you've done a couple of rounds, the cords that we just laid on top have sort of worked them, themselves in to the braid and it's now fixed. So they won't move now. Um, they're part of the, the cord. So just it means that you can start off and have sections where you've got um, smaller, like fewer cords. So just carry on with that and you'll eventually get all the way around the board and back to the beginning. So, Is that where you've got dots on the board so you know where you're starting? And yeah, right. it, you're supposed to really work that way but ah. I get distracted with the writing Yeah, and I, I've scribbled out the writing there but it doesn't it doesn't matter because I still get distracted with it. So I turn it over and put little dots of nail varnish. Whatever works. So otherwise I just keep reading the writing and that's that irritates me then. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as meditative as you want it no, to be. No. So we're nearly all the way around. What I've done as well in the past, although I didn't do it with this um, was uh, in the past I've actually taken the braids and done um, macrame from it, so mixed kumahimo oh. and macrame sections, which works quite nicely. So it's, the braid starts to come through the centre of the disc. Like a knitting Nancy. It is, yeah. Mm. It's the same concept, isn't it, really? So we, we've worked all the way round, and then um, you can... You can Check. Oh no, I've done that one. Um, you can then uh, make the, the braid as long or as short as you want. So if I wanted to, I could take this off, tie a knot in, mm. in um, leave a section, tie another lot, knot. So I've then got a gap, almost a bit like rosary linking, but with cord in a yeah, way. I, I thought we'd get through a show without you yeah, mentioning rosary no, linking. No. It had to happen. An hour and 15 I thought, minutes. I think you did really well. I thought I'd get it out. out. Well, I was, I was really conscious when, uh, what was it? One of the, one of the, um, the rondelles that you had earlier. And, um, yeah, I was tempted to say I'd rosary link it. But I thought, no, don't say it. Well, you've, you've stood an hour and 15 minutes without mentioning it. So I'm I think that's, that, that is impressive. Yeah. It is very impressive. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I managed to do it really. That's but self control for you, that is. It is, yeah. I, I, have made, no I did self -control. make a conscious decision to do that. So right, so all you need to do is then carry on making the braid for as long as you want. But what you need to remember is that when you make a Kumahime braid, it will actually stretch. So okay. it, it's um, a lot shorter on the, on the disc when you're actually making it, but then it, if you give it a tug, it, it will actually mm. stretch. 
So, is that because it's spread out because you're pulling the You're pulling it, yeah. Wires, yeah. So I only discovered that when I made myself a necklace with a Kumahimo braid mm. going around the back of the neck. And after about three weeks of wearing it, I realised it had sort of got longer mm. and I couldn't work out why. So I ended up having to tie a knot in the braid mm. to make it shorter again. Oh, okay. Um, and it's because it's because the the braiding is is a lot tighter and it mm. eases when you yeah when you do it. I like it. the effect the satin cord gives it. It gives it a really it's lovely nice. sheen to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice. It shows up the texture because you can yeah you can actually see the shine on the on the cord. Beautiful, isn't it? So it's looks a lot more high-end I think mm. than than the Eslon threads yeah it really does often do because you've got that sheen yeah it's almost a sparkle yeah almost like glitter on it yeah it looks beautiful it's lovely um, so then with the necklace what I did was I continued with the braiding when I took it off this is like the shortest necklace ever um, when I when I took it off the disc what I did was separate out the cords into it was actually um, a three and a five but it doesn't matter and just tied a knot in either side so I then had two strands coming down and then what I did was then glued one side into the um, the Kumahimo ends and just had those sort of fixed and then I could I decided what I wanted which elements I wanted coming off the the end of the the strand so you can tie a couple of knots if you want to to get different lengths of cord and then take the what I used was the thread zapper to cut through the cords and it sticks them together so it actually makes it easier to then get into the Kumihimo end. So if I, what I'm going to do is take one of the cords away because I think I've got too many on there to actually um, get into the the actual end and then leave a little gap and then just trim through and then what I wanted to do was actually stick them together so because it's a nylon cord you can then just glue or fix those ends together so you've got then two of them stuck together and then if I just melt the end of that third one and attach it like that it just makes it easier to then yeah. fit into the end of the, the cap so then to finish it off all I did was take some of my fabric glue and then so just take some of this so it's just a fabric glue that you're using it's, yeah it's the um fabric gs hypo right. fabric cement and it's um yeah so it's like the hypo cement but for fabrics so it just works with with the cord really well so i don't think We've got half an hour. This takes so long to come out the tube. But, <laughs> but it's worth the wait. It is worth the wait. I sometimes get um, impatient, though, and then I'll squeeze the tube and it's just like glue goes everywhere. I can't you imagine to... you ever being impatient, Deb. I am. I'm terrible. <laughs> it's like I want it now. <laughs> glue now. So, just... And I can never get the pin back in. Oh, so it actually has a pin. This what? It actually has a pin. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more glue in there. And 
there. Oh, I can't do it. Yes, I can. Oh, yay. There we go. And then this will just fit in. So that's already sealed really together and all you need to do is together. glue it in. Just glue it in. So Brilliant. make sure you've got loads of glue in here and then that's, that's then fixed. And you can then decide if you want to attach um, a clasp mm -hmm. on there or a tassel or, you know, whatever you want or a gemstone tassel and just work with, with it like that. And then with the, the bale carrier, I've only got a rose gold chain here because the others, but then all I did was pop that through mm -hmm. and then attach the jump ring on the end. But it's quite nice, just a nice feature. So actually just that as a necklace, I think. Would work I, really I actually well. like just the way you've knotted it. Just the, yeah. the fact you've got different cords, you've got different the braiding there textures. as well. It just looks fabulous. Yeah, it's, it's a nice informal and relaxed sort of um, necklace. Yeah. And, and it's just something a little bit different. It's nice as well if you wanted to, if you've got the, um, maybe the green, uh, the bigger green gemstones you could put those onto yes. sections and knot them as well yeah you so. can see the gemstones on the screen at the moment in time um, you're getting 10 carats of your dyed green micro uh, quartz micro faceted rounds of two mil you've got your 70 carats of your black onyx graduated faceted drops and you also get 95 carats of green colored dyed plain quartz rounds which are the ones that deb was talking yeah. about which are six mil yeah so they would fit onto the cord really easily yeah. and then just tie um, tie knots and suspend them going round. But that's basically all I did with the necklace, so they're all the, the different elements that you need to know. That's brilliant, thank you very much, my lovely. You're welcome. With that kit, you also do get the green satin cord, which is 10 metres. It's one mil on the um, gauge. And you're also going to be getting the black satin cord as well. So the green is one mil, the black is one mil. You get both of them in that pack. And you do get the Kuma Hemo findings pack as well, which you get three um, sets of those. And there you have it. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck on that kit. Yeah. Lots, lots of scope as well. I like what you did with the satin cord um, on the other necklace where you've trimmed, you've cut the satin uh, cord so it yeah. becomes more of a flower. It, I put it into, um, I made a pom-pom out yes. of the green So you actually cord. did the whole yeah. wrapping it around, wrapping yeah. it around, wrapping it around, and then so trim it. So all of it went into the pom-pom. Oh, I like it. And then um, I coated, covered with some fabric some of the gemstones and pop them on head pins as the centre. That's brilliant. So, Absolutely yeah, it's brilliant. A, it's a really nice, adaptable, sort of flexible kit, this. Mm. It's good. Really yeah. lovely. Thank you very much, my darling. Right, is it star by time then? No, we're just, oh, we're going to squeeze some bits in. Oh, I like it. Right, let's, let's bring you some last of stock. So it's going to be fast and furious, a little bit like the clearance that we had yesterday. The deals are going to be fantastic. I'm just going to move these here for a moment. I'm going to bring you chrome diopside rondelles. Oh, I'd rosary link those. <laughs> 15 minutes. 15 <laughs> minutes. Countdown clock has been restarted. Yeah, OK. 35 <laughs> carats of chrome diopside graduated faceted rondelles ridiculously good we are seeing less and less of this particular gemstone it's nice that we've got it in at the moment and at the price you got there it's brilliant there is a handful of these remaining there's four basically oh. four so literally a handful down to three linda congratulations to you my darling you're going to get yours it's the intensity of the color isn't it yeah it is that's what we fall in love with that's i mean this is what made me love emeralds it is such an amazing colour and it mm. is really difficult to get a hold of it. As of 2010, it's just kind of, it's, it's one of those gemstones that we just never know. No. We never know if we're going to get it or not. So when you see it at prices like this, perfect time to get it in your life. That is a really good price. Yeah. And, and what always amazes me is how consistent the colour is throughout the entire strand mm -hmm. when we have our chrome diopside. Oh, it's fabulous. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's it really just genuinely really good. is. Quality is exceptional. Yeah. Tree of life with that, if you're Ooh, into your tree of life. Nice. Next, 
Um, I've got some, where, where, where are we looking? Oh. Kyanite, there it is. Kyanite rondelles. Ridiculously difficult to, to cut this gemstone is. Ridiculously difficult. To the point where I'm actually really impressed that they've got them into rondelles. Mm, yeah. Really impressed. Um, it forms in layers, so it's actually quite hard for a lapidris to work with. In fact, it's only in the last 10 or 20 years or so that they've actually figured out how to facet it properly. So for you to get the full rounds like this, or sorry, the full rondelles like this, it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, for £12.95 as well, when you consider how much effort goes into cutting a gemstone that is as difficult to cut as this, that is remarkable. Mm. Really remarkable. And again, it's got fantastic colour. I love the way you're getting the bands of colour and the intensity yeah. of the blue is brilliant. It really yeah. shows itself off. In fact, it's the kind of um, blue you'd expect to see in a sapphire, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. Magical. Yeah. Amazing. Four left. When we said it's last of stock, we meant it's last of stock. <laughs> As in, not like 40 left. No. Three left. And that's it. Three chances. Oh my goodness. Two. One. <laughs> it's going to go, isn't it? It's going to go. Spot. <laughs> on and gone. <laughs> Generally on and gone. If everybody checks out right now, not everyone's going to get it. Let's put it that way. Fingers crossed. Um, I've got... There's, um, there's eight of you on the lines, and I had four, and that was it. So good luck. Next up, I've got some indigo opal. Final grief. four chances. That's really strong colour in that It is, one. isn't it? Really nice, yeah. It goes amazing with your hair. It does, thanks. Three <laughs> chances remaining. Um, 115 carats of indigo opal. If you love this colour, it's perfect for this year anyway, isn't it? Yeah, because it is, it's yeah. ultramarine, of course. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet, that's yeah. it. Ultramarine's blue, isn't You're it? You're still thinking about the kyanite. I'm also thinking of Warhammer. <laughs> It's all good. Um, so we're now down to the final. Do you say two left? Two left. That's it. Fourteen ninety-five. If you want the intense ultraviolet, yeah, not marine. Good luck. <laughs> good <laughs> luck on that one. Okay. Yeah, they are absolutely brilliant. Really are. Graduation. That's a long four strand. by three. It is. It is big. Big, 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 big and beautiful. Uh, how about some morganite oh. rondelles? Oh, that's really pretty. That's a lovely strand. It is. A re How many have got these? Sixteen. So that's good. We've got a few more of these available. Yeah. Um, it is a really beautiful pink. That's kind of a rose quartz pink, isn't it? Delicate. Soft. Beautiful. That's really calming pink. Actually, I think as well, when you separate it out, it, it does look very rose quartz but there's some in there that are really peachy and i think if you separate it out mm. and look at it on white paper and you'll see the color no you're right it, you're absolutely is, right there? yeah there is like this one yeah that's, that's really very peachy. peachy so it's nice to have that that sort of combination yeah both, both you, it is really there. lovely to see that where's lovely. this from it's brazilian oh ah. It's nice to have, like you said, the peachiness, because quite, quite yeah. often the peachiness and the sort of the salmon colours are more from Africa. Yeah. But this has got a lovely quality. Um, yes. Alison, yes. well done, my darling. Fiona, well done. Or should I say good luck? Check that basket out and hopefully it'll be yours. Uh, Collector in Tyne and Weirs, same to you, my darling. 10 95 for Morganites. Yeah, that's daft. Single <laughs> figures remain and that is it, I'm afraid. It's, it's ridiculous when you think about what we're doing. And I know it can look a bit like, ooh, what's wrong with it? Or, mm, ooh, nothing. how do they do that? That can't be Morganite, not at that price. But we do get amazing deals. We've been in this industry now for a good long time. We've got great contacts. Um, and we do tend to buy large quantities. This is on and gone purely because we're at the end of stock. So it's last chances on these ones. Now, um, did you say strawberry quartz? Oh, multicoloured quartz. Because I'm desperate for the strawberry quartz, I was just mm. hoping. I was a little bit I wishful. Do like those. Yeah. A little bit wishful. Um, how about these? Tutti frutti! I like the olive green on these. I think it's it's a really it's nice olive -y. green. It is, yeah. Very I want olive. -y. Olives now. <laughs> 
Oh, I'll have some pizza. Oh, pizza. Mm. The fact that everybody in this room at that moment in time just went, mm. <gasps> Pizza, pizza. Oh, I might have to make pizza tomorrow. <sighs> you need to come round to my house and make pizza. Make pizza, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll make pizza with you, it's brilliant. Oh, I might okay. have to do that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're welcome any time. Yeah. Um, right, we have got with crackled quartz. Now, it's, it says multicoloured quartz, but if you look at it, oh, it's not crackled. It looks like it is. It's the way the dye has actually taken. That is fabulous. It does have the look of crackled quartz to it, because if you look, it's actually holding the colour. Can you see that? Yeah. We did have some crackled quartz in oh, the these colours. Um, we had about six different sizes. Crackle quartz is amazing. Basically, they heat the quartz up until it cracks, and it's then clever, they put isn't it? yeah, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, and then they put dye in it. So in all those cracks, the dye goes into, and it does look very much like this is the crackle quartz. But normally the cracks do reach the surface as well. But yeah, they are crackle quartz. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But like I said, they normally reach the surface, the cracks do, and this doesn't seem to have done that. Which is amazing. We did have a huge quantity of these. We're actually down to the final 18 chances, so... That's nice 17, well, 16. That um, they're going very quickly. Very, very quickly. I'm loving this sort of... Um, it's almost... Indicolite like blue. Indicolite, yeah. That would be really nice as earrings. Yeah. I've got another one down here, so you could actually turn those into earrings. Oh, I do like those. Oh, I do. Tutti frutti. <laughs> Tutti frutti. Oh, I am thinking of stretchy, but that's my go-to, so. I'd separate out the colours, though. I'd have to get a couple of these. Yeah. And then separate them out and make different... Um, like stack of bracelets or oh, that'd be brilliant just like one sets. in the center yeah. and then yeah yeah well this is it if you, if you look at them forever, wouldn't it Go. if you did just have one as a pendant one as a bracelet yeah two as earrings yeah that's oh you can turn one into a ring that's one two three four is that right five yeah earrings, earrings pendant bracelet, bracelet ring. ring yeah five. five so that's only one two three four five that's that you could get so many different sweets. Yes, you could. Out of one strand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they don't look brilliant. different, wouldn't yeah, they? Because yeah. the different colour. And if you make them to sell. Yeah. Uh, oh, I've got a mini showcase of Neon Appetite wow. Last of Stock. Take a look at these. Wow. Oh, I love this gem. I love this gemstone. That's as much of this in one go as I've seen. It's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to pop that on my face for a second. Just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah, looks really good. Mm. Oh, you've not experienced this, nice? have you, Wayne? If I really, really appreciate a gemstone, I'd put it on my face. It's my nose in particular. If you're talking to Jem, Jem puts it on the her forehead. I'm always the nose. Always that bit of my nose. Yeah. Good to know. So it's not just me being random. It is, it is but it's worth it. 115 <laughs> carats. The biggest, longest strand that I have seen. It's 89 centimetres in length. There are five chances. Five chances. It is the biggest quantity in one go. I'd, I'd restrand it and wear it as a long necklace. Yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't sell it, I'd keep it. Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't want anybody to touch it. And if my daughter wanted to borrow it, no, 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 no. no. I'd want to put it with the, um, the purple opal. Oh, just had. the indigo opal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Wayne says Neon Appetite was the first gemstone he bought for his daughter. How old is she? Oh. Oh. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour, isn't it? That looks lovely together. I like that. Next kit, please. Yeah. <laughs> Next kit. 
Three chances remain, my darlings, and that is it. So I'm going to leave those there. Um, the next one is nuggets. Oh, this one's the oh, one we've right, got a tiny right. amount of, isn't it? Six, yeah. They're already going. <laughs> there was six. They're already going. We haven't even got the graphics on the screen yet. Oh, dear. Seven by five to nine by six millimetres. It's a 38 centimetre strand. If everyone checks out right now, there's one chance remaining, and that's Ooh. it. Yeah. Look at that price. If everyone checks out now, it's sold out. <gasps> that would look fab. If you have got any of the Chrysocola cabochons. Talking of Chrysocola cabochons. Oh, yes. That with those. Perfection. Just going to show you this one for a second. If you are wanting to combine it with Chrysocola, it is coming up very shortly. Um, this is the Chrysocola. Those two were made for each other. Oh, yeah, my they were. I love that. Oh, oh so it just, you just get so excited. Is it the fasted one, Dals, darling? Plain. Uh, graduated plain rondelles. Neon final six. <laughs> People on the phone lines already. Um, I can't see this being uh, around for much longer. £12.95. It is the most intense. It's the most heavily saturated. It's going under a tenner. Under £10. See it, like it, love it, want it, grab it. Grab it with both hands. Run, run with it, Forrest, run. <laughs> <laughs> I would certainly be running for something like this. It is brilliant. Four chances remain and that's it. Four chances. Three, two. It's very exciting, this, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. It's going, it's going. It's like watching a horse race. It's gone. Yeah. Or most bike racing. <laughs> <laughs> two chances. That's it. Okay, so if everyone checks out, there will be one chance. If everyone... Okay, it's going. Check those baskets out. Hopefully, everyone will get one. Fingers crossed. Um, I've got the last one for you. Faceted rondelles this time. Um, really? Already? Oh, the other one, right. The oh. other one, um, there are way more in baskets than we have stock of, so a good look on that one. Um, da -da -da. Now, I have managed to just chip that, so ignore that. Yours will not turn up chipped. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> <sighs> you making that I'm yeah. just clumsy. <laughs> I'll, I'll own it. I'm clumsy. I'm sorry. Um, yours won't turn up like that. Don't worry. You won't have me in the packaging destroying it. Four chances yeah. remaining <laughs> because this is now mine. <laughs> the broken one is mine. I'll, I'll have the reject. Yeah. It's all good. Um, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Three chances and that is it. 10.95. Don't look at me like that. It's not my fault. What, Technically, what did you do? I didn't. It just happened. What happened? Yeah. I chipped just it. One of those things. Moving swiftly on before I get shouted at by Lucy. Um, it's star by time. look for no I was just thinking you it always give really me nice. dodgy looks no no it wasn't dodgy I was I broke it again you have broken it again <sighs> just take it away take it away you're just a demon I broke it again demon yeah I'm everything I touch um, breaks I think it would look fab with the morganite strand oh let's see if I can not break this one yeah careful I'm starting to feel like I'm jinxed Ooh, perfect. Because it's a silvery, kind of a, almost a grey, isn't it? Got my bracelets in the back, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, this Labradorite is brand spanking new today. It's not been seen before. It's irregular drops. Irregular drops. And it's going low. We're talking not just under £10. 
And no. I sit down for this one. Not under nine pounds. Okay. Not under eight pounds. Not under six pounds. I've missed seven pounds out. Not under yeah. seven pounds. Not under six pounds. <laughs> under five pounds. Under Ooh. four, to be precise. Three ninety-five. It is brand spanking new. Um, this what? Ow! I've just stabbed myself with the end of the cord. Oh. <laughs> it's it's you one of those days. Don't you? I really do. <laughs> I really do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I spent more this morning in bed because I've had a horrible migraine. Mm. I'm blaming that. That's because that's because I had to carry two heavy bags of shopping and my daughter across the car park because she was having a hissy fit. First time I've experienced her having a hissy fit in a, a supermarket. And the supermarket <laughs> had no one on the tills, so I had to try oh. and negotiate your, the self-checkout whilst stopping oh, a no, toddler mid from... Tantrum. Yeah, mid-tantrum. Stopping the toddler from running off and screaming whilst trying to scan everything in and then not being able to fit the, bag, the stuff in the bags because I had <laughs> one arm on the toddler and one arm <laughs> trying to negotiate everything else. And, and yeah, so oh. I hurt my shoulders and my, my neck. So I'm blaming that. Yeah. However, this price makes I, me I feel would. lots better. No, I, I blame my migraines for quite a lot of things. They're horrible. They migraines are horrible, are horrible things. Yeah. yeah. Very nearly didn't get in the car and come to work. Oh. But I managed to, I had a whole morning, because little one was in nursery today, so I had a whole uh, morning okay. yeah. on that my back just, in a dark yeah, room, dark. which has helped. Three, mm. nine, dip five. Well done to everyone who's managed to get a hold of it. It is a fabulous price point for an amazing, amazing gemstone. No migraines needed. Nope. No migraines, migraines needed. There we are. Um, now, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I want to show you, which was another strand that I managed to... Oh, yeah. Or not. I didn't break this one, I unknotted it accidentally. Mm. Rather cleverly, actually, with just one hand. <laughs> it was with one hand. <laughs> um, this is coming up a little bit later on. It's in 15 <laughs> minutes, in fact. It's my 8 o'clock must have, which is a gorgeous strand of freshwater potato pearls. Brand spanking new today. And it's got the most amazing, amazing glow to it, doesn't it? I don't often say yeah. that for pearls, but it does. The light is so bright on the top, it just... Brrr, beautiful. Now, next up, I've got Jada. Is this brand new? Oh. Oh, it's last of, isn't it? Silly question. Apologies. Last of stock. Final five chances. 130 carats of Burmese jadeite pairs, 12 by 8 millimetres, and it's a 39 to 40 centimetre strand. Beautiful pairs. They are. Earrings? Yeah. Earrings, definitely. Bracelets, because they're mm. flat. I like coins and, and sort of flat pairs for mm. bracelets. Yeah. Yeah, they, they sit really lay, nicely. Yeah, they will. Nice for rings, actually. You could do two, like a yin and yang symbol. Ooh. But that's, that'd be very confusing because if you're wearing a pair and it's pointing out, it means you're, you're it does, available. Yeah. <laughs> and the other way, it's meaning you're taken. So you're saying, you I'm available but not. A, yeah, I can't make up my mind. I'm available yeah. but not. <laughs> Depends on what time of day it is. I'm available mm. or not. Yeah. Yeah. Hold those lines, my darlings. Um, now. <laughs> I can't find that one, my darling. Oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. It was hiding. Um, I've got a cubic oh, zirconia. Oh, I've not seen this before. Isn't that cute? It is. There's only ten left, though. Oh. I haven't even shown you this yet. It's going to end up going very, very quickly. So it's oh, cubic zirconia. a really nice little ring. Oh, I didn't you, think of ring. I just instantly could, thought yeah. uh, bracelet. Bracelet, definitely. So you've got you your... Could, sorry. But you, you could make earrings with it as well. Yes. Use just a few of them. Put it with your, uh, your slider yeah. bracelets. Make, take one, make a ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's lovely. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Keep it zirconia all the way around. Um, beautifully, beautifully set on the actual flowers themselves. And then you've got that, if you just, just drape that yeah. round. Yes, I like the idea of a ring. I do yeah. like the idea of a ring. Be nice. I'm thinking bridesmaids. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Flower girls. Yep. Earring wise, it'd be Earrings gorgeous as well, wouldn't be, it? Yeah. And actually, if you popped a stud through the centre of the flower, mm -hmm. so just take one of the flowers, take one one of the loops off, and um, then you could hang a gemstone, a drop off yep. the bottom of the flower, and put the flower into your ear mm. using a stud through the centre nice. of the flower. Nice. Hold those lines, my darlings. Yeah. Hold those lines. Nice. Oh, you're going to love this. How many of these do we have, honey? Four. Wayne, that's, there's no point in me bringing it. It's just going to be on and gone. Oh, yeah, that's the point. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Paul, Paul saying, Paul saying, are you sure you've actually come to work today? The whole point is it's on and gone. Yeah. Four chances. Oh. It's my migraine that I had earlier yeah. on. It addles your brain. I do need a cake. I always need cake. Yeah. Is cake there any cake or pizza? In the building? Um, 38 carats of multicolored opal graduated small plain tubes, uh, three by two to five by four millimeters. It's an 18 centimeter strand, and cake is always, always preferable at any <laughs> time of the day. Yeah. These are just cute. I've not seen them like this. I'm particularly liking this one. It's like chocolate mint. It's <laughs> it is. Chocolate mint. I like the orange one yes. actually. Yeah. It's a really nice colour. It reminds me, for some reason. These multicolour opals like this always remind me of rag rugs. Oh, I had a rag rug. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Rag rug. If you don't know what a rag rug is, it's basically a rug made out of rags. Yeah, you turn It's them as up simple as that. It is a, a yeah. So different colours and they're all sort of knotted together depending yeah. on the style that not a quilt, it's a rug. It's like a quilt is not a rug. No. <laughs> a quilt is a quilt. A quilt is a quilt that put you go on, you no, know, goes on a bed. It's like little tufty bits, like a yeah. carpet, but it's made out of rags. Yeah. You can either have it uh, one of two ways, I think it is. So one, you can have the little tufts sticking up, yeah. you can have flower patterns on them. And the other one is to weave yeah. in there. And that's but yes. more of the woven type. Yes. yes. Now, I've got some white opal for you. This time it's drops. Ooh. I think I'm liking these. Are really these. elegant. They are, aren't they? Mm. They would look very nice with pearls because they'd be a very strong contrast. Yeah, they would. Which is something you don't get when you get a white gemstone. It's, it's yeah. you don't get much of a contrast, but you will with this because of the way the pearls have a different surface to them. Seventy-five carats of white opal, eleven pounds ninety-five. You've got loads You've on this strand as well. Two, four, six, eight, Ooh. ten. 12, 14, carry on while I'm counting. They would make 16, 18, really pretty 20, little flowers, 22, little daisies. 14, 6, 7. And then if, if you've got any... Um, I've lost count now. <laughs> if you've got any... Um, oh, actually, the, uh, the opals we've just done would look really nice as flower centres on a head pin. Yes. So, like little yeah. daisy or gerbera flowers. 27 on this strand. Yeah. How much is that per stone? I'm not, I, I'm not working it out. I've, I've been banned from maths for the rest of the night. 44 pence per stone is what you're looking at there. 44 pence a stone. Hold those lines, my darlings. Now, I've got sterling silver. Butterfly connectors. Ah, they're cute. Ooh. Right, bear with me a second. I'm going off. I'm going to put it back. Turn my back for five seconds and what oh you no. like. Straight in there. Yep. Do, 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 do. Butterfly. They're nice, aren't they? They are really cute and they do have the curvature to them. You've got the hole through the centre. I'm thinking buttons. Oh, that's cute. Yep. Yeah. Little cook buttons. Yeah. Do you do buttons? 
They're really nice. You can stitch them into your shibori or your yeah. um, stitch them into any of your fabric pieces mm. that you make. Really lovely. They've got the 925 sterling silver stamp on the back. They are, of course, 925 sterling silver. And you're getting 1.3 grams of silver in these. You're getting five of them in the pack. They're really cute. They are. I would like to dot them all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Just a mass of butterflies. Do, do some um, wire work flowers and then maybe have a couple of butterflies just landed. <laughs> Just as highlights on your top would be nice. That would be nice, yeah. Next up, I have... Is it the Chrysocola, my darling? <gasps> oh. Chrysocola. Wow. Love this stone. <laughs> Apparently I sounded like an Ewok. Chrysocola. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's like a painting, isn't it? I mean, that's, yeah. that is just like a landscape. Yeah. It's like rocks jutting out of the sea and foam is going up you, the sides of them. You can see so much in, mm. in these. And once you start looking and your brain starts yeah. sort of putting together the shapes. It's a, a copper-bearing stone, so you get the greens coming through. That's why you're getting greens and blues mm. in there. Um, very much like turquoise in that regard. Turquoise looks fab with these. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. It's a gorgeous gemstone, and I'm so over the moon that we've got it. Um, you, you probably already know the story about my mum trying to find it, because I kind of went, oh, I would like to get some for my daughter, because it's known oh. as the Goddess Stone, and my daughter's named after the Goddess of the Earth. Ah. So my mum went on a mission, and she could only find, she goes into all these different uh, crystal stores, wherever yeah. she goes, she always tries to hunt it down. Um, and she got two small pieces, and I thought that was yeah. going to be it. She'd spent another another uh, year or so trying to find it and ended up getting me a Chrysocola pendant, which I absolutely adored. But it took her over a year to find a decent piece of jewellery, including being sold something that she was told was Chrysocola, which wasn't. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. naughty. Very naughty. The person who sold it clearly did not know what it was. No. It's, it's not gemstone... I mean, we have had it recently quite a bit. Yes. But for, like, years and years and years, we didn't get it no. at all. Now, the thing is, this is, when you're looking at working with genuine gemstones, it's, it's all about the supply, and that's the main thing. It's not something that is mass-produced in a factory that you can just go, today we'd like 400 of them, please. It's basically when it's available. It's like having... Um, you know, you have a really good year with wine. Yeah. That yeah. is going to be so in demand in comparison to a really poor year with wine. So it's, if it's not available, we can't bring it to you. If it's poor quality, we're not going to bring it to you. We're not going to buy it. So it's only when you get those really beautiful pieces that we are going to bring you the best that we possibly can. And we've been very lucky this year. We've had quite yeah. a bit. Doesn't mean we're going to have quite a bit next year. We didn't have a lot last year. We no. didn't have a lot the year before. None. But this year, we have had such an amazing opportunity to be able to bring you this particular gemstone. And I can't guarantee it's going to happen in the future. No. That would make an amazing ring, that one. It really would, wouldn't that's, it? That's so... Yeah. I think I'd probably have Impressive to put that middle maybe, finger. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fact the tongue is sticking out here as well. Yeah. <laughs> She's saying... Mm. What they are stunning. Absolutely yeah. stunning. So grab a hold of those while you can. Is that the end of the hour? Oh. Oh my goodness, that's gone very quickly. We have got another amazing hour for you with lots of treats, so stay tuned. It's coming up after this. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information.
Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen. And this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code, to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jury Maker the one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Hello and welcome back. I wasn't eating a strawberry or anything then at all. <laughs> Oh, I've broken the strand. <laughs> Properly broken. <laughs> well, it's, I, I forgot. I'd... Oh. I pulled the end off. So you... <laughs> Completely. I pulled the end off and I forgot that it was, it was loose, so I've actually started pulling the um, pearls off. So apologies. You will get a full knotted one, don't worry. <laughs> uh, not knotted in between the pearls, of course, but the ends will be knotted. I won't sit and uh, undo yours. But you, <laughs> Lucy's getting annoyed with me already. Um, shall we just, shall we just un, un, just pull it all off? Let's just pull it all off so you can. Oh yeah. You can see what you are getting. We might as well, hadn't we? White fresh water cultured potato pearls, four by five millimeters. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Wait, wait, wait. There we are. Done, done. 
So we are looking at all of these. Oh, it's nice to see them without it being on a it strand, is. actually. Yeah. Really nice. I think we need to challenge you, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> actually being genuine. <laughs> Do you think that was a challenge not accepted there? <laughs> accept your challenge. There we are, I'm challenging you. Yay. To a jewelry making contest. Um, so we have got, I want by the end of the show, so you've got two hours. Two hours, I want, actually no, you've got I an hour want, because you've I got want. a demonstration. Mm, that's true. So what can you do in one hour? Do you want some earrings? Rosary <laughs> linked. One pearl. <laughs> one pearl on each. Why not? Why not? Um, I would like a really ornate bib necklace, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Genuinely. Okay. Yeah. Mm. The look you're giving me now is I not particularly I pleasant. I need to find some wire. Right, so we have got, basically, you are getting these gorgeous fr white freshwater cultured potato pearls. And they have got the most amazing sheen to each and every single one of them. They are brilliant. They're actually more of an unusual shape than a straightforward potato pearl. Potato pearl tends to sort of be an oval, elongated. These are a little bit more on the Baroque side, so you've got a little bit more of a nugget kind of feel to them. Some of them do have flat bottoms as well. Not soggy bottoms if you're watching the Bake Off, but flat bottoms. So they'd be really nice and shibori. They're brand new, they've not been seen before, and they are just 11 95 These would be perfect sewn into a wedding veil, wouldn't they? Oh, they look really lovely. Deb's has run off. Is she not wanting to do the, the challenge? Actually done a runner. She's going to get some extra ingredients. Oh really? Some extra ingredients she's gone to get. Um, so we are looking at a gorgeous selection of beautiful, beautiful pearls. I'm actually looking at these now and thinking, yeah, we're talking about wedding veils and things like that. They would look beautiful actually sewn onto clothes as well at the moment. There seems to be a little bit of a trend coming through with faux pearl trousers and faux pearl tops. And I don't mean like a whole pair of trousers made out of pearls, but sort of round the, um, I can't think of what it's called, the hem. You know where the hem is? They've got pearls dotted there, or sometimes they've got them in a line up the uh, seam. So you've got the opportunity to actually have real pearls on them rather than just mm. having faux pearls, which would be really nice, especially if it's just 11 95 Grey as he uh, headpieces as well. Tie them onto um, combs or onto uh, bobby pins. Now, how am I going to get these over to Debs? Yeah, she... yeah. Oh, no. Hang on, give me a sec, I'll sort this out. I've got it. I've got it. I'm really good at these things. There you go. Thank you, my lovely. Um, now, we are going to bring you some more last of stock. I'm actually going to move these a bit closer so I can actually reach them. I've got some coated black spinel micro faceted rondelle. Rondelles, which is always a fun one to use. I thought you'd done a runner lady. <laughs> She's back. Yeah. Um, final, do you say 13? 13, one, three. Final 13. Love the fact you've got micro faceted elements to them. Love the fact they're coated as well. It gives a really, really, really nice sheen to it. It's perfect. Sparkle. Come on, Mike, you can do it. Sparkle. Excuse me. I can't actually hear it properly, so I don't know if it sounds. Because obviously, when you do it yourself, yeah. you don't hear it the same as what you think it sounds like. Because it goes through the bone, it travels through the bone, doesn't it? So you're hearing, when you're hearing your own voice, you're oh. hearing 
Are more you? of the vibrations of the bone. Mm. You should be able to hear. You do, you do hear. <laughs> but if you listen to yourself when you're on a recording, you always sound different than what you think you sound like. Talking-wise, yes. Yes. Singing-wise, no. Really? I think so, yeah. No, I, I, I disagree think, with I, that. I sound how I think I sound. I sound awful. <laughs> I, sound, I think I sound great when I'm singing in the shower or something like that. When I actually hear myself being recorded and, and played back, you're like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, let's not. Let's not. <gasps> where is it? 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 Oh, how can you just you just said the words Amalite Cab and it's not there? No, it's not there. Okay, it's not there. Oh. Um, I'm going to bring you some Imperial Topaz faceted pairs instead then. Imperial Topaz. These are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It is one of the most sought after Topaz. You tend to have a really lovely, almost a golden sheen to it. Oh! Oh! I, saw, nice. oh, I picked up the wrong one because. I didn't think they were going to be that big. Crikey. There's one of these and that's it. 9 by 6 to 15 by 9. That's going to go. One of the most sought after topaz. It is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. One chance, one chance only. If you want it, you need to be on that phone line right now. You need to be putting it in your basket and checking it out. It is brilliant. Liz, if you check it out, it's yours. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for you, my lovely. I'm going to leave that there for you. Now, ooh, I've got the Amalite. I've got the Amalite. There's only one. There is only... Ooh. Ooh. This is the exact one that you will be getting. Oh, that's nice. You're getting beautiful blues. You're getting beautiful greens. You're getting an amazing gemstone. It's massive. I can see orange and red. You can see orange and red. Can you see the purple as well? Mm, yes. It's brilliant, isn't it? Normally they grade it based on how many colours you can see. You can certainly see a lot there. It is absolutely just breathtaking when you see the amount of colours coming through. They are brilliant. I'm, I'm going to have to do it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. I'm not going to break it! I'm not going to break it. I'm not going to break it. I'm not going to break it. Um, it's really, really lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, you have, it's a doublet. So, you've got the top layer, which is, of course, your amylite, and that's then got a back to it, which is highly likely to be um, host rock. It is definitely a stone that it's been attached to, which will give it a bit more security, which is lovely. Can I just double check? Is it doublet or have they done it as a triplet? You usually put resin at the top of it, don't they? It's normally quartz. Quartz? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So there's a high probability that it might have quartz over the top as well. Um, but I can't, I can't say that for sure. But it really does protect it because the amylite itself is extremely thin. So for you to have that backing and to have the top as well is fabulous. It is definitely covered. Yeah, I'd say it's a triplet that you've got there. Look at the purples! That's incredible, isn't it? The quality. Yeah. It doesn't say on the information, but from what I would assume which will give it the extra protection, which is yeah. exactly what you need. Because if you didn't have something covering it, you'd, you'd end up um, damaging it, unfortunately. But it is fabulous. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love that quality that you're getting. And the price is amazing as well. You find it in one particular location. It will be coming from um, Alberta, which is in Canada. And it's only very, very small quantities that come out of the ground. Because if you think about it, it's not something that's been made in the way that other gemstones are made. This used to be a sea creature years and years and years ago. When we're talking years, we're talking millions and millions of years ago, at least about 60 million years ago. Imagine how pretty the sea would have looked with creatures like this, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Would, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
It's the shell. I mean, the closest thing you've got to this in modern day times is parwa. Parwa or um, abalone. Mm. Now, I have got... Oh, I love this one! Oh! This is brilliant. You've basically got here your actual shards. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's how it grows. They're cool. Yeah, they grow like this. And if, you, yeah, if you're lucky, you should still have the striations on it as well, which you do. So these grow like this. You can actually see the um, cross-section, the shape that they form. Aren't they brilliant? So they've basically just broken the bottoms off. And they've actually smoothed them because that would normally be quite um, a jagged break. So they've actually smoothed the top and the bottoms. They've left the sides as they are, though. Can you see those striations? So that is a natural formation that you're seeing there, those lines. If it's a quartz, the lines go in the opposite direction. But with it being a tourmaline, it goes straight down. They are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. There's only two left and that's it. Um, get it for the sake of getting it. It's such an amazing, amazing way of seeing how this gemstone is formed. And all you need is one. I mean, can you imagine how amazing yeah. that's going to be? Yeah. Beautiful. Just one on a chain. Yeah. 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 Yeah, one on a chain, done. Because they top drilled, it's really easy. You yep. just eye pin and make yep. a loop on the other side. Yeah. Nice. They are fabulous, and it's got the quirky element of the fact that it is how these form. When I was doing the course, they actually send you um, samples so you can test oh, do them. They? Yeah, and um, one of them I had. Um, was it? It was a. Uh, so it was an unusual colour tourmaline. It was not quite. Not um, quite what you'd expect, but it was really lovely. I had a black tourmaline as well. Yeah. Um, and they do form like this. Really lovely. They are cool. I'd be wanting to make earrings out of the pink ones. In fact, I want to make a suite of jewellery out of the pink ones. They are magical though, aren't they? I'll have the green ones then. You have the green ones, I'll yeah. have the pink ones. Sorted. Good times. <laughs> I've just been told, no breaking these. <laughs> One chance remaining and that's it, my darling. One chance remaining. It could be yours. If you're thinking, oh, but there's only one, there's no point in trying, try. You've got nothing to lose. Well, somebody has to get it. Exactly, and it could well be you. You were saying earlier on, weren't you, about not missing out on opportunities, and yeah. if you think, oh, it might yeah. not happen. Well, it's not going to happen if you, if don't, you try. don't try. Exactly. So even though there is just one, it could be yours. If you dream hard enough. If you dream yes, hard Michael. enough. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a really weird dream the other night. Did you? Yes, that the cat passed wind and wafted it in my direction. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> that, was, that was the dream I had last night. <laughs> Me. Weird. Someone... It, it was the dream I had was that the cat passed wind and then wafted it in my direction. <laughs> With his paw or his tail? With his paw. Oh. Her paw. <laughs> Could anyone tell me what that dream means, please? Because it was a little bit... Worrying. Someone did it to me in my sleep. Thanks, thanks for that. Um, mm. What's the next one? Black rutile. Do, 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 do. Black rutile. Now, sometimes you can get tourmalinated uh, quartz, but this is black rutile quartz. So rutile does come in a variety of colours, uh, black and gold being two of them. You can also get sort of a, almost an off brown, I suppose. Um, but these are lovely. They always remind me of cobwebs. And as it's Halloween coming up, doesn't it? Or branches of a Not, tree. Yeah. I, I always think they're like um, graffiti. Oh, graffiti. Scribble and quite graphic. Okay. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm seeing that. I can see where you're coming from on that one. I still like the cobwebs. But yeah. that's because I like spiders, so there we are. Oh. What do you mean, ew? Spiders are lovely. Ew. They're cute. No, they're not cute. They are cute. cute. They're not cute. No. Have you not seen, like, a, a, a close-up picture of a spider? Yeah. Yes. They make me shiver. <laughs> yes, thank you, darling. Really? They're cute. Uh. Now, do-do-do-do-do-do. 
Every, each to their own. Each to their own. Indeed. Marquise shaped topaz. Sky blue variety. These are really, really clean. That's one of the beauties about topaz itself. It's one of the reasons why jewellers love it so much and use it so much. Um, it does mean that it is often quite a highly priced gemstone because of how popular it is in making jewellery. It's high on the most scale, so it's great to wear daily. It's a great alternative to a diamond, and it is beautiful. You expect to pay a premium for it, and you expect to pay a premium for the shape as well. Are you paying a premium for it right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, they would make fantastic, fantastic earrings. They look fabulous. It's just, again, individual, just one on its own as a pendant. Oh, we're not stopping at that price. We're certainly not stopping at that price. <laughs> there it is, $26.95. Mm -hmm. They are gorgeous. What would you do with them? Um, I think earrings would look fantastic with them, but also making a flower. Oh. Because they, they're like, they'd look like amazing petals yeah, on a would. big flower brooch. Yeah. Pop a black round spinel in the middle, one yeah. of the microfaceted ones. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mm. Oh, one of the, the bigger big ones? ones yeah. Oh, okay. Or you could make um, a beady bead with the smaller ones, the yeah. microfaceted ones. That works as a, a flower centre. Ooh. Beautiful. <laughs> Are you attempting <laughs> to get Deb to do another challenge? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, Paul, I think you need to hold back on the challenges. I think we've given her a... Yeah, I'll, I'll be here till midnight. Yeah. <laughs> Can I let you... Ooh, sorry, I got distracted again. Where am I looking? Where? I don't... That, I don't... I don't have them, honey. For what? Oh, they're here, they're here. Oh. I got them. I got them. So I've got a star by coming up for you, which is Snowflake Obsidian. It's a gemstone that is associated with Capricorn. So if you are a Capricorn, or if you know a Capricorn, they'd be perfect. You are a Capricorn! So am I. So is my daughter. Um, it's Snowflake Obsidian. Mm -hmm. I've got a pack of three pairs for you, and it is going to be coming up as a star by... Brand spanking new! You can see why I don't sing very often, can't you? <laughs> but these are brand spanking new today. They're going to go at an amazing, amazing price. You are going to love it. Love it. They're coming up later, my darlings. Ooh. Next up, I'm going to bring to you which ones, darling? <gasps> Lapis. The, uh, the ones that are overspilling because there's so many of them. Oh. Pull the back, pull the back. Oh. <laughs> right. So what? we have got so many of these. Beautiful, beautiful gemstones. I mean, how many? I was going to say thousands. It is nearly a thousand. 950 carats of lapis lazuli, multi shaped cabochons. That looks like you're looking at the planet from above. They are natural. That's why you're getting so much of the calcite coming through, which is brilliant. You've got different shapes. You've got different um, textures. I say textures, but I mean sort of domes as well. So some of them are domes. Some of them are flat on both sides. Some of them are pear-shaped. Most in this are oval, um, but you will get multi-shapes in there. So you might get a square. You might get an, uh, an oblong. But you're getting 950 carats in total, a huge huge amount and i love the fact that they're natural because they're really showing off their natural qualities it's not been dyed so it's not hiding any of that calcite so it can really make a statement you can either use one like this where it's really quite strong or you can go for one which has a, a smaller amount and is more of the uh lazuli la lazuli la lapis lazuli or not it's, it's the combination of the different rocks together. So there's calcite, lazurite, lazurite. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. 
I don't have that technical information in my brain. I'm pyrite lash. La yeah, pyrite is the. It's the cop the copper yeah inclusion. Then calcite yeah. is the grey, and then you've got lazurite. La lazurite. 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 We're just saying words We're right now, but basically it it's it's the different okay. combinations yeah. of the stones that you've got there. So it's the blue stuff, basically the blue stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Hold those lines, my darlings. Right, what is next? Let's bring some more lapis, but we're going to bring you drops. These are amazing. Amazing. I did say amazing. They are amazing. Um, 110 carats in this instance. And there is a real strong colour to these ones. Again, just double checking. Ooh, they're they're nice. not dyed, are they? No. Nope. Air naturale, uh, which is really lovely because in this instance they've really chosen the thickest amount mm. and strongest amount of colour. That they're incredible. Mm. Quality is amazing. This is the kind of depth of colour that you expect to be dyed. So for you to have it naturally, it is amazing. Seriously amazing. And you're still seeing beautiful elements of the calcite coming through. You're still seeing beautiful elements of the pyrite. In fact, on some of them, it's almost like the night sky, which is why the Egyptians loved it so much. Isn't it? Mm. I've, I love the polish on those as well. They're so glossy. The polish is amazing. It's, it's actually quite... such a long time yeah, to get. Yeah, it's quite difficult to polish a stone like this because yeah. it's an aggregate. You've got lots of little bits of stone together all yeah. compressed in one so it's it's quite hard to get an even um polish yeah it's a bit Plus like with jadeite because yeah. jadeite's exactly the same it's granular so if you look at the early jadeites they had what was known as uh, orange peels uh, okay. like an orange peel yeah. surface yeah it's now with sort of diamond dust that you're able to get that different and smoother finish to it brilliant hold those lines my darlings Hold those lines. What shall I bring to you next? How? Ooh. Black agate. Massive. Massive cabochon. What would you do with this? It's huge. <laughs> that is huge. I, I would actually keep it like that. Put it um, a brooch pin, glue a brooch yeah. back yeah. on and just leave it like that. The impact would be amazing, wouldn't it? So this has already been on pre-order and already we've had a large quantity of people coming in for this one so um it's brand new today it's not been seen before and we're about to take it under five pounds size isn't that brilliant i love the fact yeah. if you look at this one up close and personal with it being an agate you're actually getting a little patterning on there as well Can you see uh, that yeah. it's almost like a little Little, little cloud swirl. yeah now not everyone's going to be like that but it's got a lovely little little swirl to it little swirly whirly the faceting's fab as well on yeah that, it is isn't it? it really is Four pounds ninety-five, one hundred and seventy carats. Multi-buy on this one. Make some really beautiful jewellery. Well, actually, to get a, a one piece of agate that size is is quite impressive, isn't it? It's massively and, impressive. Yeah. Normally, and, if you see them these sizes, they've been sliced really thinly. Yeah. Um, and quite often you have the drews in the centre. So to get that size and to have it as a solid yeah. as well is brilliant absolutely brilliant you're looking at 40 by 60 millimeters which is outstanding which is basically four by six centimeters isn't it mm. four six don't believe i actually had to do that but <laughs> just 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 not checking. trusting myself after you know breaking things and dropping things and Linda, congratulations, my darling. Uh, Camilla, well done to you, my lovely. You've got yourself a lovely amount of these. Three of them are going to you. I've just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just go home now? I just, I've, 
broken three <laughs> strands today. I've dropped this. Yeah, Just okay. you go on cameras. I'll go on cameras. I'll break the camera. Oh yeah, that's maybe not a good idea. Oh dear. Yeah, thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, not a good idea at all. Okay. Not in Just any. <laughs> go on tea duty is what I've been told. Would you really want me to be around mugs? And hot water. And hot yeah. water. That's going to be a combination. Just <laughs> no. No. Oh, I love you, Lara. I love you too. <laughs> I think I need to get myself some, like, packing, poppy packing. Yeah, wrap you up in bubble wrap. That's it, bubble wrap. Poppy wrapping. <laughs> well done to everyone who's managed to get a hold of these. They are amazing and, like, brooch size, they're huge. I think it'd be so. You know, if you, you have, have like a, a big winter jumper on or, or a scarf. Pop that on your chest. Ooh. Where? There? Yeah. It's huge. It is huge. So if you just um, glue the, the brooch back on there, yeah. that's going to look fab on um, like a big scarf or a jumper. I actually thought you were going to say scone then. You could put it on a scone. Yeah, I would remove it before I eat. Which is the cream. <laughs> would you put the cream on first and then, and then the I, cabochon? I think cabochon cream. Jam, jam cream, cream, cabochon. Cabochon, yeah. 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 But then, yeah, remove it before you eat. I thought you were going to say scarf. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> Clearly, I've got one thing on the brain at the moment, and that is <laughs> it's not scarves. Scarves. Thank you. Hold those lines, my darlings. Uh, now, I'm going to bring to you some flowers because everyone deserves flowers, male or female. Yeah, I agree. I oh, see now the other day I said all of our um, strands apart from the pearls come with tassels, but they don't, so I apologise for that. I, I, I retract that statement. I apologise profusely. Now, we have got... How many have we got these? There's 43 remaining of these ones. Beautiful, rose-shaped... Or should I say flower-shaped, rose quartz. You've got a lovely slight dome to either side, faceted on both sides as well. You've got a slice basically, so you can actually wire wrap around these beautifully. They go great mm. with uh, cord. Turn them into rings. And you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Twenty-one of them on there, which works out mm. about... Well, it's just, it's just around about what? I'm not doing maths again. <laughs> Isn't it like 25 pence each? I'm, I have no idea. My brain is not working at all. It would be... Uh, 21. Just do the math for me, because I really can't think. <laughs> it's crashing again, which makes it worse. Or better for you, yeah, should I say. Um, how much? 42... Is that at this price? 42 pence each. 42 pence each is what it works out at. That's what I was going to say. Really? Yeah, no. Right. no. No, no, no. Well done, Deb. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Bang on the nose. There we are. Yeah. How's your necklace coming on? Your necklace is coming on rather well. Ooh! £8.95! And you are getting loads of them on here, 21 of them in total. That's 21 individual rings. Deb, if... Hello. Hello. If you were to make one ring out of this, how much would you be charging for the ring? Dead basic. Really basic. £15. £15, one ring. How much yeah. would it be for 25 of those really basic rings? Don't make me do maths. I'm not adding up. <laughs> it, was, it was £15 15. times 21. 375. 21. Is that right? Yeah. Three hundred and seventy-five pounds. Yes. Good if you're work, making Michael. to sell, Michael, you're amazing. Okay. The Go human nothing. calculator. Human calculator. Michael, indeed. the human calculator. Thank you. That's that's what they call me. Yeah. 
But if you are making to sell, you, that's what you're kind of looking at. Of course, you've got to pay out for the, the wire that you'll be using. Um, next up, I've got a bracelet. Love these ones. Absolutely love these ones. So, it's made in Italy. And it's a thick chain that you're looking at. It's sterling silver. It's a snake chain, so you get that beautiful smoothness to it. It's great as a chain on its own, ah. but it's also great if you want to add any charms. I've got that one. Are you adding? Oh, is this is one you've got? Yeah. Are you using it as a charm bracelet or just as is? No, just as it is, because I, I like the, the chain. It's a brilliant it's chain, isn't really it? It's a really nice chain. Yeah. Love the clasp that you've got there as well. It really yeah. does stand out, and that's real what high-end designers do. They either make it stand out or they hide it really well. They've decided in this instance that it's all about the show, the showmanship. Magic, isn't it? Absolutely magic. Um, and you're getting a whopping great big 9.9 .9 grams of sterling silver in here, which is enormous. And for the price you're getting it for, it is, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, the look, the quality, it's Italian silver as well, so if you want to have high quality jewellery, this is what you're going to be wanting. Italian silver, Italian gold, Italian glass, always synonymous with quality. Mm. And the, the clasp is just really secure. It I is. I never take mine off and it's, it's just really secure. You know, it's, it's really well made and you can just wear it and forget forget it's there forget it yep which is good but yeah you've got plenty of room if you do want to add um any any charms on there mm. or the um you know the the little tiny donut shapes that we've got yes um as well the labradorite and the moonstone yeah. fit on there brilliantly i can't get it yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, no it is it's a really great one um, I've got some Tanzanite rondelles for you Oops. last in stock of these as well it's got a lovely colour to it as well it's, it's one of those colours that you just it's unmistakable completely unmistakable in every single way i mean when you when you look at a tanzanite you just know don't you yeah you just know whether it's a triple a grade tanzanite or a quad a grade tanzanite or a single grade uh, tanzanite you look at it and you just know it's tanzanite mm. it's unmistakable that sort of duality of color that you get within a tanzanite is absolutely fabulous and i know people who collect tanzanite just for the sake of it being tanzanite because it's another one of those, almost a mystery stone. Nobody quite knows what's happening with it, quantity-wise, in the ground. It forms in a really unusual way. And it forms almost in zigzags. So the, the, the vein itself is almost zigzag-like. So they'll dig for a little bit, and they'll find a little seam, and then they'll lose it again very, very yeah. quickly. So they have to keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, and there's a whole series of mines in that particular area, from A to D, they're all sectioned off. Um, and there's no guarantee that any of the mines will be producing at any time. It's fabulous. It's really, really fabulous. I didn't realise there were zigzag seams. Yeah, it kind of, it caught the way, if you look at how it's done, it's corsetinas. It's uh, almost like a corsetina effect, so it'll kind of do that. So they'll dig, yeah. they'll get a vein, and then, and then, it then it disappears. And then they'll have to go down. And because the mines are separated out and they're all owned by different companies... Uh, so Some people no might be. That it's coming up back on. Yeah. On your so patch. the last mm. years, a few years ago, I can't remember which section it was. One of the mines actually had hit sort of the dry patch, and they weren't sure if it depleted in that mine completely, mm. or if they just needed to get lower to get to the yeah. next level. So it's it's one of those nobody knows how long it's going to last, and nobody knows which mine's going to be bringing anything out at any time. It's it's a fabulous gemstone. Twenty. 95. Absolutely stunning to have tanzanite. Absolutely stunning. It is one of the ultimate gemstones in my eyes. I haven't broken it. <laughs> I've just got these little wisps. Have you broken it? Have you broken it? I haven't broken it. Yet. 
No, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you have no faith in me at all, do you? What, that you'll break it? No. No. <laughs> you have every faith that I'll break it. Nice, thank you. Good luck, <laughs> my darlings. Good luck. It is one of the most exquisite, exquisite gemstones. Cake. Have you actually bought cake? Lucy's packed with cake. Cake has entered the building. Cake has entered the building. <laughs> Very happy. Very happy. Um, how about some ruby, 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 ruby? I'm making a right mess here. Really, I'm making a mess. Um, no. So. Ruby. The king of the gemstones. That's a nice colour as well. Yeah, it is. It's deep, it's rich, it's sumptuous. It's really strong colour, isn't it? It is. Ooh, that'd look really nice, actually, with the um, rose quartz flowers. Ooh, nice, mm. nice, nice. I shall pop those together for a moment. Yeah. You could wire it so that it sits between the petals. Mm. That is a nice combination. Yeah. It's a lovely combination, actually, isn't it? It's almost like a sweet effect. You know, like when you've got... Um, candy canes. Oh, Peppermint yeah. candy canes. Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry and cream. Mmm, rhubarb and custard. Do, 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 That's do, do, yellow do, do. and... Oh, I remember that. I do. Um, but it has got the most incredible <laughs> intensity of colour to it. And that's the nice thing. When you don't have a, a ruby that's clear, it's all about the intensity of that colour and how deep that colour can go. And it does look fabulous. It looks so, so fabulous when you have it individually or if you have it as uh, earrings, just a couple down as earrings. Yeah. Because it's still such a strong yeah, colour. Yeah, you've still got the colour, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. You don't need a lot. Don't need a lot at all. Hold those lines, my lovelies. Now. I'm going to bring you multicoloured barrel. Barrel! Right. All of them are the same size, which, first of all, is brilliant because it means you don't have to worry about snipping the strand and not knowing what, no. what <laughs> and spending the time separating it out, which is one thing that I always get frustrated with at times. But it is brilliant because you've got 6mm as well, which seems to be the chosen size for the for designers, doesn't it? The high-end designers tend to use... Yes, dear? This is my strand of the, of the evening. Is it? Yes. It's Mike's strand of the evening. Ah. It is fabulous, isn't it? High-end designers are using 6mm, which was actually quite a surprise to me. I thought they would have been using larger sizes, but this yeah. seems to be the size that they're all wanting to work with, which is brilliant. Or a lot of them, should I say, are wanting to work with. I can't say all of them because we don't know about all of them, but the ones I've looked at... <laughs> there may be one or two. There may be one or two have chosen yeah. to work with a bigger or smaller size, but overall... And it's a, it is the perfect size if you are wanting to work with um, stretchy bracelets because it is comfortable. It's big enough to be quite dramatic, but it's also small enough to be really easy wearing throughout the day. And that's yeah. what you want your jewellery to be like. And Debs was mentioning about having a, a piece of jewellery on constantly. If you are wanting to wear jewellery constantly, it's the perfect size for it. Especially if you're yeah. working in an office, because you're not going to be clanging that on the keyboard. Yes, it, it doesn't get in the way, but it's, yeah. it's, you've got enough there to make an impact. Yeah. Mm. Really lovely. Yeah. Got a massage. Uh, Lydia, hello. How are you? Hi, Lara. You're doing a great job today concentrating. Oh. I'm not concentrating very well at all, considering how your head must feel. Deb, I love when you're on. You have so many great ideas. Thank you, Lydia. When I'm I not concentrating very well at all. rosary Lincoln. We're banishing Otherwise rosary. Otherwise, ideas are allowed to come through then. Yeah. Thanks. I, I, I don't know, but you do, you do get stuck in a rut, though. Because I, I get stuck yeah. with earrings or bracelets. Yeah, I just, I just like rosary linking, but yeah, sometimes it's good to banish it, try something new. Banish the link! But, yeah. I 
think you can keep the link. I think your linking's very good. Thanks. Your rosary linking's very good. Would you rosary link these? Yes, I would, actually. I'd probably um, sort out the colours. So you'd, well. you'd separate them and out? Then, yeah, but then graduate through the colours with ah, rosary linking. So you'd ombre them? Yeah, I think that would look really nice. 12 95 you are getting barrels, you are getting gorgeous pink barrels, blue barrels, green barrels. Can you see the yellow ones in there as well? You are getting a lovely, lovely array of colours. And would you separate them all out or would you ombre them like Deb was going to do? Or would you want to have them as a, a, a bit of a mix and match? What think, would you do? I think if you, if you leave it all sort of mixed up, it's a lot more informal, isn't it? A yeah. lot more relaxed than if you, if you then separate out the colours and, and yeah. block the colours th through a design. So. Barbara, my darling, you've already got yours well done. It is a really lovely combination of colours though and they have been colour yeah. matched. I'll say colour matched, it's actually tone matched. They've been tone matched, so they've got the same kind of tone, don't they? They're all pastels. Yeah. yeah. Another massage um, from Karina. Hello, my lovely, Yay. how are you? She says, I'm sitting here rosary linking while watching. So Good relaxing. Work. There we are. Yes. There we are. Great minds think alike. Yeah. It is. It's so relaxing. Yeah. And it, it's just satisfying as well because you don't realise how much you've made. And then all of a sudden you've got like a whole necklace. Yeah. I do it all the time. I'm, I'm sitting there rosary linking and end up making too much and having to cut like, oh, a really? section off. I know. That's, that's all right. It's still really usable, isn't it? Reusable, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, um, hold those lines, my darlings. Can we bring the shell, the, not the shell, the uh, pearl? Oh, <laughs> oh, is that because I requested something that it's the blue ones? Oh, are they not? They're not, they're not. You got them, yeah, <laughs> yay. <laughs> colour of these just just you wait until you see the colour of these <gasps> hello electric blue how amazing mm. is this colour isn't it just so eye-catching it is yeah and actually where's the um ruby that we ruby, had ruby, earlier. ruby, ruby, ruby. That looked really nice with it because it's a rich, strong blue. I think they'd work really well. Mm. Just mm, a bit. Mm, mm. Let me just see what it looks like as a uh, as a straight necklace, just a straight up restrand. So you've got thirty eight centimeters, which if you did restrand it and add a clasp would be about this length. That's really lovely, isn't it? They do look round. Are they near rounds? They're near round, so they're about as close as you can get without yeah. them being fully round. But it's, they're quite contemporary because of the colour, but then to have them almost round yeah. is like the classic. It's, it's a high-end finish to it, basically, yeah. isn't it? It's a high-end feel to it, because you normally pay a premium yeah. for a round. So you're getting as close to a near round. So again, you'd expect to pay a premium for a near round, wouldn't you? Yeah. Not quite as much as a round itself, but close. They are lovely. They are. Really lovely. Yeah. I've not seen this strand before. Stretchy. Or even if you popped little jump rings in between. Yeah. Space beads. Space beads. The Stardust ones would be fabulous. Yeah, they would. Stardust space beads. Oh, the saucer-shaped ones. Oh, yeah. The rondelles. Yeah, they're nice, they are. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Joy! My lovely, you're going to love them. You absolutely are. They're so beautiful. Hold those lines, my lovelies. Now, it's star by time. Believe it or not. <laughs> Obsidian. 
obsidian. <laughs> it's a volcanic gemstone. Obsidian. It's um, it's a really fabulous gemstone because it's actually technically a glass. But I'm just looking at the snowflake and I can't remember. I cannot remember. Could you look this up for me? Because it's a different mineral that forms um, at the same kind of time and it spreads out in this wonderful, almost a flower-like pattern. And that gets trapped inside and it's got this beautiful formation. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. Oh, I don't know. Wayne's having a look. Ah. Think if you type in what, what is the, um, what's the inclusion in Snowflake Obsidian? But it is it's a fabulous gemstone because it is a natural glass. There's only a small amount of natural glass in the world and volcanically formed glass is, is one of them. And the reason it's glass is because when you have an explosion, you have this extrusive, you have intrusive uh, magma and extrusive magma. When the magma comes out and it's super cool, so it hits the atmosphere, it can no longer maintain its heat the way it did and it starts to solidify, but it solidifies really rapidly. So rapidly, in fact, that it cannot form a crystal structure. So it just, it forms an, anom an, um, an anomalous structure. And it... Say that again, sorry. Cristobalite is what the inclusion is. Cristobalite. Um, and that's what the grey bit is. So you get this fantastic little inclusion which forms almost snowflake-like or flower-like patterns on the surface. Um, and it, it, it stops, it can't form the crystals, but these actually are trapped inside of the glass itself. So you have the most amazing patterns. Isn't that gorgeous? It's, it's fantastic to, to just think that it's trapping time. It is, in yeah. There, isn't it? Yeah. In glass. Because if you think about it, it's, this wouldn't exi exist if the volcano hadn't have erupted. No. If lava hadn't have come to the surface, it wouldn't have been able to, to super cool and yeah. it wouldn't have been able to form the glass. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. And they look fabulous. They look amazing, don't they? I mean, how pretty. Each and every single one's individual. Each and every single one's unique. Beautiful pairs. You're guaranteed three in a pack. You're guaranteed 30 carats. And you're guaranteed to get it for £7.95. Which is brilliant. And you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Rings. Yeah. Wouldn't you love it as a ring? Yeah. It's fascinating, isn't it? Absolutely. I think uh, as well, just popping one on a chain as a pendant and keep it really simple, really yes, plain, because it's quite, yeah. again, it's quite graphic. It's quite... It's um, a really beautiful stone, isn't it? ...and striking. But I think it, you know, um, for men, making jewellery for men as well with these would work. Yeah. Because they're, because they're, they're monochrome, it's quite a, a strong look. Absolutely. And the nice thing about monochrome as well is it's in every season. There's always yeah. a monochromatic element to every season, whether it's spring, summer, autumn or winter. No matter what year it is, it's always there, isn't it? Yeah. Black and white always True. look fab. Yeah. No matter what time of the year. Oh, that price is fabulous. It, it really is. It really is. All you need to do if you want to get involved, if you've never tried it before, try us now for the first time. Why not? Go ahead. With this, you will be spending more than the £4.95, and that means that you're going to get a starter pack as well. So you get the folder, you get the DVD, you get the recipe cards, you get a little booklet in there as well. A threading pack, you get a finding pack, and you also get three tools in there as well, which is the round nose pliers, the chain nose pliers, and the side cutters. 
all you need to do to get involved is to pick up the phone and dial 0800 644 655 or you can go to the website as well and we also have an app which you can find at the app store the website is all the w's jewelrymaker.com love it i'm gonna squeeze one more in which is going to be one of the big three which is emerald rondelles Emerald Rondells. Aren't these amazing? Don't you just love the intensity of the colour that you're getting in this? And actually, the uniformity of colour. I know they're all very different, aren't they? But when I say uniformity of colour, you are getting a very strong one green on each of these. Whereas quite often you see a multitude all in one go. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have one gemstone that's rippled through with darker greens or rippled through with browns, but actually you're getting a really nice uniformity on the, uh, the stones themselves. The odd one will have a bit of a ripple, but uh, that is the Jardin. Also like the fact that they're not clear. I quite like it when you've got the muted greens. It's very subtle. It is, yeah. I mean, it's a, um, really nice if you're doing like your floral pieces yeah um, because then it's almost like they don't fade into the background but they they take they take um, a step backwards and let the flowers come to the forward front don't they yeah. design then because they're not they're not sort of sparkly and taking over yeah they're just acting as a support yeah I suppose for the, the floral elements. yeah absolutely but when you've got really strong greens like that, mm. it's nice to have a complete strand. Yeah. And talking about Tree of Life, having those as a Tree of Life would be amazing. Yeah, it really would. Putting them, oh, with those um, uh, topaz that we had, the blue topaz. Ooh. So put, make yes. them into the flowers and then have this as a, the foliage. That would be a really nice combination. Yeah. There are still some of the uh, blue topaz available for you if you are still wanting to get a hold of those. They are there. Um, just scroll down if you're on the website. Uh, give the call centre a ring and ask if they um, can pop that into your order. Or, of course, on the app. They are stunning. And it's £10. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's £10 that you're looking at for emerald. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't even go in the same sentence, does it, when you think about that? Not really, no. Ten pounds for an emerald. For less than the price of some pizzas, you're getting yourself one of the big three. <laughs> that is fine. It's less than the price of some cake as well. If you yeah. go and buy like a party yeah. cake from a supermarket, you can be paying more than that. Mm. Easily, yeah. If you have a specially made cake, I, I bought a tiny one on you. It was twenty-five pounds just for a <gasps> tiny little one. Tiny wow. little one, shaped like a spider. <laughs> It was. Uh, <laughs> Brilliant. It was so cute. So cute, so cute. Mike's mm. face. No. Anywho, uh, moving on from the spiders, it is the final hour coming up, so that does mean the gorgeous Debs is going to be showing us the next kit, which has a little bit of a Parisian feel. A little bit of a foodie feel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oui. Oui, oui. Oui. Um, it is going to be fabulous, so don't go anywhere. You're going to be in for a treat. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration, and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging? Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello, welcome back. I'm Laura Deleu and I'm joined by the one and only gorgeous Deb Raj. It's not my cup. So, is that my cup? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we like to know, call, no, we call her Deb Raj. I don't it know sounds why. Sounds very French. It does. It sounds, it sounds almost like uh, Bruges itself. Bruges. Yeah. De Bruges. Mm. Where did you go on holiday this year? De Bruges. <laughs> did you send a postcard? <laughs> Why no. <laughs> I was having too much fun in De Bruges. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is De Bruges kit. And we are going to bring you, as today is all about working with textiles and making jewellery out of textiles, um, we will be bringing you a nice, touchable, textured, ultra suede. I kind of want to ask you to feel it, but you can't clearly feel it as it's on the TV. But it is one of those things that just feels fabulous. It's got the most wonderful texturing to it. 
Ultra suede is a really good backing fabric um, and it works perfectly if you want to seed bead onto it, if you want to use it as a backing for more textiles, so if you want to use your shibori with it as well, it just works really nicely. It's great as a backing for brooches, as necklace um, backs. If we have a little sneaky peek, um, have a look at the jewellery for a second, you'll see just just how it has been worked with and it is such a lovely lovely thing to work with texture wise it's fabulous and it feels great against the skin now you're not just going to be getting your ultra suede now the color of the ultra suede is Aztec leather that's the color Aztec leather it's a nice name isn't it, it? Is actually yeah. Aztec leather um, so it's Aztec leather coloured ultra suede. Um, size wise that you're looking at 8.5 by 8.5. So you're getting one of those. You will then also be getting a bit of a findings pack going on, which is the rose gold plated brass. And you'll be getting rose gold plated copper in there as well. So you'll be looking at two pairs of the rose gold plated copper shepherd hooks. You'll be getting two rose gold plated copper small toggle clasps. You'll also be getting yourself four rose gold plated copper uh, ball head pins. You'll then be getting 50 centimeters of the rose gold plated brass oval link chain. You'll get five rose gold plated copper crimp tubes, five rose gold plated copper open jump rings, and you are also going to be getting yourself wildfire. So you'll get the wildfire as well, which is 50 yards of thermally bonded bead weaving thread, and it's 0.06 is what it's saying, 0.06 inches or 0.15 millimetres. And it's the white variety that you're getting of the uh, Ultra Suede, which is brilliant. On top of that, because we're not finished there, so we've got the Ultra Suede, we've got the f uh, Wildfire, I said Ultra Suede again on this, didn't I? Mm. White Ultra, no, White Fire Line. Well, oh, Wildfire. I've had a migraine for most of the morning. It's only just gone, but I just can't concentrate, so apologies. Oh, did I eat the cake? Brain. I did eat the cake. I avoided the chocolate one as well, just in case. Yeah. Wildfire. White wildfire, the ultra suede, the beading pack, or sorry, the findings pack. You will then, on top of that, get 10 carats of lemon quartz micro faceted rounds, which are two mil. So not only are you going to get that fantastic size that will work nicely with seed beads, but you also get ultra, ultra sheen to those has got a bit of a sheen, doesn't it? A bit of a sparkle. And on top of that, because we're not finished there, you're getting 38 carats of clear quartz faceted rondelles, which are three by two millimetres. So all the same size, which is lovely. And that's a 30 centimetre strand. And finally, you will also be getting 55 carats of green adventurine, which is an oval cab, and that's 40 by 30 millimetres. So you're getting a lot. A whole lot. You're getting two strands of gemstones, one cab, one findings pack, one whole reel of wildfire, one amazing colour of your ultra suede. All of that for $29.95. It's fab, isn't it? Now, you've had a little sneaky peek at what has been made with them. How did you find this kit, my darling? Well, it, I think it's it's just a really nice kit because you've got the adventurine in there which is absolutely gorgeous to get that cabochon you know it's 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 just got real impact mm. which i love i love the cabochon um and then you've obviously got the um the ultra suede as the the sort of fabric textile element have and you noticed the you um can... sorry <laughs> No. You notice the French theme. I don't think anyone would spot it, will they? No. No. No, carry on and then we'll, so, we'll point um, it out. Okay. Okay. So the um yeah, the, the ultra suede's really nice to actually work with because you can stitch into it and you can I've I've sort of 
stitched into it and double thickness and things and padded it out before and it's just a really versatile fabric to use and it's really strong it's not like um when you have a felt or mm. some fabrics very often you'll cut them and they'll fray everywhere this is good because it holds its shape and and wherever you cut you know that's what you're going to have the shape so um it doesn't fray which is lovely yeah it doesn't fray so it's nice to have that that sort of reassurance i suppose yeah and and it also cuts down on the amount of work you need to be doing in terms of you don't need to actually hem and, um, you know, stitch, stitch it to hold it all in place, blank, blanket stitch or anything like that. So that's fab. It's, um, it's a really nice colour as well, this. It's, it's a soft, neutral colour. And you can actually, if you use um, your acrylic paints, you can paint onto the ultra suede. Um, it takes paint really well. It also takes, um, if you use PVA glue and mix it with mica powders, you can paint on with that as well and you get fantastic effects. So. I love it. I think it's uh, a really nice material to use. Very, very versatile. Can we point out the um, Parisian thing now? Yeah. So, I'll let <laughs> you do it. Well, when I, I made the, the little beads out of the, um, the ultra suede, I actually cut them up. And I don't know if anyone's ever made, like, paper beads have you yes. ever made paper yeah, yeah, yeah. beads where you, you roll the triangle it, yeah. and you roll it up uh, well i i did that with the ultra suede but i think because of the color when i made the bracelet i thought it looked like a croissant it does look like a croissant it does look like a croissant yeah. and the earrings look like croissants as well so we we think you could very easily make yourself make you know a whole patisserie croissant. range yeah. Chelsea buns. Yeah, if you're watching uh, the Bake Off, or the shows yeah. are available, but that wouldn't that be fabulous? Wearing jewellery that goes along with it. Yeah, you could. Yeah, we could have a bakery week. Let's make croissants. <laughs> Don't they? Like, they look like croissants before the they've been croissants. rounded. Yeah. I love the bracelet though. The bracelet is brilliant. Absolutely the, brilliant. The bracelet is much yeah. more croissanty. Very much so. Hmm. Chocolat. Panel chocolate. Panel chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I might have to make some croissants and shape them round. That would be, be brilliant. Good. Brilliant. So, what are you going to demo for us, my um, I thought I'd show you how I did the butterfly on ah. that one. So, because I did a little trick with it as well. So, you destroyed the bag, didn't you? I, yeah. I mutilated my findings bag. But you can. That's it. You don't have to use it's, it as a bag. Well, it's, it's a textile. Yes. It's organza, isn't it? Yes. So I pulled it apart and then used the ribbons going from the... <laughs> going I didn't actually figure out that was what it yeah. was. So it's the ribbons from the bag then going from the butterfly around into the chain. Genius. Oh, madness. <laughs> Absolute genius. So, um, it's really easy actually to dismantle the, the bag. So if I just show you quickly, all you need to do is untie the knots on the ends of the ribbon. And it's, um, they're not tied mega tight, so they're easy to undo. So undo those. And then... If you go to the side opposite the knot, you've then got a looped section, so you just pull that through. And then if you do the other one, so you've then got both your ribbons for going around the neckline. The other thing these are brilliant for is if you make seed bead tassels. Ah. Um, because to to actually fix the tassel y sort of sections into the the top on a seed bead tassel, I stitch it into ribbon. So, so that gives you those. And then you just need to 
um, get your scissors and trim down the, the sides of the bag. The other thing, the other way to do it as well is to get your flat, your chain those pliers, catch underneath one of those threads mm -hmm. and just pull and it comes out. Wow, yeah. that was quick. I know, yeah. So if you pop it underneath and pull, then that's that side undone. I've dismantled a few of these in my time. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, you are an expert at it, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I just like the fabric. And when we get the purple ones in sometimes Yeah, they as are well, nice. The, the colour is lovely. So do that. And then the same down the sides. You can just you turn it inside out. And then you can hook under the stitch on the edge. Hang on. Let's do that side. So, hook under the stitch, but not into the bag, and then pull it through, and they'll come out just... There's one side that works better than the other side. Is that like a rule? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rule of the croissant. <laughs> So oh dear. Just rip them out and they'll come undone anyway. That's how you do them, is they'll just pull apart. So that then gives you a strip of fabric that you can work with. So I then use the scissors on the um, ultra suede and I've got a little template butterfly template so if you just fold your paper in half and draw your butterfly wings and then you can pop it down on your ultra suede and if you fold it over ah. you can cut the two sections together so you cut your butterfly out one and then round so if you want to you can pin it you don't have to just hold it but if you pop a pin through and make sure it help, holds everything together so your wings are all the same size and then all I did was it's easier if you if you do it with a template because um, then you can make sure you like the size and the shape of the butterfly that top section and then once you've got your butterfly shape get rid of your bits and pieces and then if you hold the butterfly onto the, the organza bag it's easy if you then take your thread zapper again um, and cut through because you can see here how the, the bag's all frayed mm -hmm. and it, it will do that. So if you cut it, you'll just get fray. If you use your thread zapper and melt through the bag, it seals the edges and it doesn't actually fray. So... It's um, sealing the edge as we go. If you get any bobbly bits, just go back over it and you can get rid. I think that's genius, so the fact that it actually seals it as it goes yeah. round. It, it works because it's um, a, a nylon fabric, yeah. basically. So it's man-made fabric. Man-made, yeah. So it doesn't work if it's cotton and things. So just Actually, I probably don't need that body section go around there and then all I did was um, stitch so choose which gemstones you want you could put spacer beads down the middle mm. you could do either um, the you know we get the tube beads sometimes they yes. make a really nice body so if I just come round we've got some wing. tube beads coming up in a moment actually let me have a nosy 
Oh. Oh, yeah, they'd be perfect, wouldn't they, to make butterfly mm. bodies? Yeah. They're coming up a little bit later. So there's your body. I'm just going to get that rid of that bit and that bit because we don't need those because the wings will just then fit over the top of the butterfly. And it gives you that sort of effect of the wings moving. Yeah. So then just take a beading needle and this is a size um, 12 beading needle. Um, I've got far too much thread there. <laughs> I've got enough to make a whole necklace, I think. So then if you just attach the front of your organza, so stitch through and attach your needle and thread onto, not like that, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the mistake, that. forget that you haven't got a knot on the end. It's because I've, pull it I've come along and pulled through. it out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> in your expert manner. <laughs> One-handedly One pull that knot out. Yeah, so we'll just fix that in there. And then, right, so that's on. To make the um, antennae on the butterfly, if you use your head pins, and you just take That's genius. Because <laughs> you've got little balls on the end, the haven't you? Yeah. End, yep. So, curl the end there. And then you just stitch through those loops that you've made attach them onto your butterfly and then just embellish over the top with your hang on make sure he's up the right way that way um, embellish over the top with your gemstones so and just stitch them down the body so here I'm just going through to attach through that loop onto the the body and then you can come back and um, stitch into them a bit more if you think you need to. But that's then fixed. And once you stitch your gemstones over the top, then it will hold it in position. So I'm just going to come through the loop there. And... down. Come on, line up straight. I, I suppose they don't really need to, do they? They don't on a butterfly. I can't quite see straight. Can you not? Not straight lines. If I've got a lined paper, I have to follow oh, the line okay. of my finger because I can't, it, if it's like a graph paper, it yeah. wanders off. I can't, I can't focus properly on it. Because oh. I've got a stigmatism and why. Oh, right. So I have a weird shaped eye. Cool. Like a football, apparently, like an American Is it? football, yeah. I've got that oh, like a rugby ball. That's it, yeah, like a rugby yeah. ball. Yeah. Nice. So, one way of looking, I can see short sighted and the yeah. other long sighted in the same yeah. eye. Fab. Just That's to really be awkward. cool, isn't it? Yes, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not. Knows. It's just the way you are. So, yes. Yeah. Even and my then, eyes are weird. <laughs> eyes. My eyes are weird. Yeah. So then, all I did was t take a load of these and stitch them over the top. Oh. And then, um, with with the um, ribbon, if I flip over the necklace here, and then you can see that's just stitched in place on the back of the on the on the back of the um, butterfly so. so it's 
stitch those in. Yep. You can either do them a couple at a time or um, do a big row and then stitch over the top and that will hold them in position. But these are fantastic because they're such a good size. They, um, they have a real impact down the centre for the butterfly's body. So there you go. That's how you do it. Yay! So obviously just right the way up to the top and the bottom on the body. I'm quite surprised you actually have the antenna at the top, which it does make sense. Yeah. And I like the fact that you can't, you, you just kept it. Yeah. So you can see the detail, which is really nice. So. Really nice. Thank you very I much. I just thought it's, it's a nice way to use both of those fabrics. And, and uh, yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you, my darling. Marvelous. We still have some of those available for you. So you did get your findings pack. You got your uh, wildfire. You got your uh, b -b 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 10 carats of lemon quartz micro faceted rounds of 2 mil. You got 38 carats of your clear quartz faceted rondelles, which were 3 by 2 mil, and that was a 30 centimetre strand. You then also got 55 carats of green adventurine, which was the oval cab, which was 40 by 30. You got your ultra suede as well, which was 8.5 by 8.5 inches in size, and it was the Aztec leather colour that you got, which is brilliant. They are brilliant, and that's the findings pack that you're seeing there. So you're getting loads. And of course, the finding pack will come with the organza bag. Yep. So you can hack that bag to pieces if you so wish, like Debs did. Yeah. I there think you go. should. At least once hack in your bag life. to pieces. Why yeah. not? Why not? Uh, what can I bring you now, then? <gasps> These are not what he's just asked for, but... <laughs> Sorry, Wayne. <laughs> Not that I'm not listening to you, but uh, this is this is coming up in a moment. Wow. Oh. You're wanting these ones, aren't you? So these ones will come up in a moment. These ones will be here now. It's the final <gasps> one chance. So we're doing on and gone again. It's the final one chance. So this is what you'll be getting. Oh wow. How gorgeous are these? They feel incredible as well. Oh. They feel absolutely amazing. You cannot pinch that because it is the last one. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. No. Yes. You will no. be getting five of them because Debs will not be walking oh. away with what that would be amazing as a ring. That's brilliant. Look at the colour on this. The faceting on there is amazing. They are, aren't they? That's awesome. Love it. Wow, that's got purple in as well. Gone, gone, oh. gone, gone, gone. Pop them back. Yeah. People are missing out on that one. There was only one. It is on and gone, though, in this hour. So grab it while you can. What would you like next, then, my lovely? Come on, these now. You're evil! No, I'm not doing them, he said. Only joking. Three hundred and ninety-five carats of labradorite graduated faceted elongated drops. Aren't they amazing? They are amazing. What would you do with these? Ooh, light pools. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you could. But just one on a long chain would one be. One on a long chain would be fabulous. Perfect. I'm loving it. I'm thinking though. How many have we got? We've got 33 of these. Oh, I might 33. get these then. Um, I am thinking they would make really nice wand tips. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. Mm, beautiful, beautiful look to them. I'm, I'm thinking, could you, could you get away with earrings or would they be a little bit too heavy? I was wondering that, but I think they might, you the smaller feel. ones. They're still quite weighty. They are quite weighty, but I think, I think you could. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't put other gemstones. No, with it them. needs to be on its own, wouldn't it? Yeah, but the um, those those smaller ones. Yeah, uh, this one would be too big. I'm also thinking, wouldn't they look great on the shoulder? Oh yeah, on a really nice leather jacket. Actually, Smacky. No, you could make. A really amazing, <laughs> massive ring. 
I'm just thinking, because if you do... <laughs> no, honestly, if if you did wire work up to, like, here... Yeah. It would just be, like, a really standout, totally mad cocktail ring. But I would. Why not? I would. Not You'd practical. Have, because, no, it's not at all practical. You couldn't wear it down the supermarket. Imagine trying to get your hand in your bag with one of those yeah. on. <laughs> but wouldn't it be amazing for, like, a, a really, like, glam event where you don't have to put your hand in your bag for your purse <laughs> or something? It would... <laughs> it's very... You'd, yeah. You'd need to support it with wire work and yes, have, like, yeah, a yeah. really big... It's Lady Gaga-esque, isn't it? Yeah. I, I would. Why not? If you can, do it. <laughs> Hold those lines, my darlings. <laughs> Now I've got some elongated uh, pairs for you, which are amazing. Wow. Those as well. Amazing. Fantastic colour. I'm wanting that as a bracelet, yeah. just as is. Yeah. Just as is. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? It is. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I mean, every single one of these has got that fantastic play with the light as it does. And I'm just gonna pop it against the neckline for a moment. Choker esque. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. Huge look. You've got a lot on there. There is a lot on there. Actually. It's jam packed. Yeah, it is crammed on, isn't it? Watch the price mm. though, it's gonna be fabulous. So you have got. Look! All of those stunning, <laughs> stunning, stunning, stunning gemstones. If you want to make it into the most elaborate choker you can do, separate them out. You can get away with these as earrings. Yeah, definitely. They are light enough to do that, most certainly. Um, and they're just, they're crammed on. So if you wanted to separate these out and turn them all into individual rings, you're more than welcome to. And at $31.95, it is incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's just something about it. Something about the way the light dances across mm. them, something the way they just, every single one lights up. It's mystical, isn't it? Fabulous faceting on there. Yeah. Actually, there's loads of purple in those. Yeah. Yeah, there really is. Look at the one down there. Ooh, it's pretty. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, you can see that there, can't you? They are absolutely breathtaking. It's one of the ultimate gemstones. And our favourite year after year after year, except for one year. Yeah. When we went, oh no, you can be second for one year. Yeah. Just Don't want one you year. getting too big for your boots. Yeah. Mm. But next year, another one. You can, you can have it back again. But it is one of the most beautiful strands for the colour that's coming out of them. And so many people love this stone. Well, it, it pulls people in, doesn't it? It draws people in and... and starts conversation because it it is so magical it's it mm -hmm. not everybody knows about it so really you know, the, yeah i just thought it was one of those stones that everyone knew about no no lots of people have never seen it don't know what it is <gasps> and they they come and they're, they're ask questions out. and yeah they are yeah they're missing but out. it's it's fantastic for that for actually you know pulling people in yeah Hold those lines. Um, da, 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 da. What am I looking for, my lovely? Yes, toggle clasp. Got it. Gold coloured brass toggle clasp. And you've got your T bar. T bar, T bar. So you've got. One of these, it's 23 millimetres and the ring is 11 millimetres. So, really nice way of finishing off. You've got the two loops there as well, so very easy to attach. Yeah, this is my favourite um, toggle clasp. Is it? Because it's, yeah, because it's, it's just really simple and contemporary, but it can be classic as well. Yes. So, and also, it makes really nice T-bars on cufflinks yes. and yeah, pendants yeah. or the bottom of an earring. Very nice. £1.45. £1.45, which makes a really nice finished piece. You can do, as I said, the, the 
earrings, you can do them as mm. your cufflinks. There's so many different things you can do. As you already know, Debs doesn't even use a bag as a bag. So <laughs> you don't have yeah. to use a toggle clasp as a toggle clasp. No. Nope. No need. There's no, no croissant need. law regarding no toggle cross. clasps. Is that what it's now going to be known as? <laughs> yeah. If you hack something law to people, the it's the law of the croissant. Mm. Uh -huh. Um, there we are. Grab it while you can. Sandra's there and Neil is there as well. If you want to multi-buy, you're more than welcome. You've still got that one postage and packaging right up until 12 midnight, which is always nice to know, isn't it? Always nice to know. You can add anything you want to the order and still only pay that one P and P. P, 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 perfect. I'll tell you what. There's a lot of people who get big boxes delivered. Yeah. Big boxes, and it's still only that one p and p price. Yeah, I ordered one time about six or seven bench pegs. I know it was very heavy. For three pound ah, ninety five as well. Me, yeah, that's Ooh, one of the nice, nice things. They are very nice, and they're movable as well. Take a look at this. So these are lobster claw clasps for the end. Uh, Oh. Moves. Perfect. Key rings. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I've got no, I've not got the right ones. I've picked up the wrong ones. Oh, I'll bring you those in a minute. Rose gold plated is what I'm looking at. 925 sterling silver. Uh, you've got 15 in the pack. This time it's lobster claw. Lackadies. They're nice, aren't They're they? They're really nice size, and the polish on them, again, the finishing is just perfect. Absolutely. And the fact you're getting 15 is really nice as well. When we get the rose gold plated silver, it's quite often 10 pack yeah. that you get. So you're getting 15 yeah. of them. Um, good size, so they're ideal if you have a little bit more of a dexterity um, problems, or if you get fed up with bracelet mm -hmm. clasps just not, not working because you can't quite get them, which is what happens to me all the time. So they've got a good size to them to be able to grab a hold and to manoeuvre it. Twelve ninety-five. Love it. Absolutely love it. Shall I bring to the... Where's the pack of three? Is that the one you... Yes. So I'll bring those to you now. These are the ones that move. So these are alloy. They're brand spanking new. They're zinc alloy plated swivel lobster claw. So as you can see, they do in fact swivel. There you go. Swivel, 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 swivel. <laughs> swivel, 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 swivel. So the bottom bit of it actually turns, which is really quite handy. And yep, they would make great keyring. They or would. even charm yeah, holders. Yeah, they would. £4.95, you're getting three of them in a pack. They're 16 millimetres, so again, really good size for you to actually grab a hold of them and to manipulate them. I love these. The polish on them is amazing. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. I love the fact they swivel. Swivel? Yeah. I don't think we've had them swivelly before. No, I've not seen swivelly ones. No. Brand spanking new, that's why, Dad. There we go. We should say brand swivelling new. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not indeed? So, three in a pack, zinc alloy, really nice finish to them, and movable. Sandra's already got hers. Well done, my darling. Are you going to use them as key ring holders, or are you going to use them... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, turn them upside down, mm. attach something here for earrings, yeah. use them as earrings. yeah. yeah. They'd be really nice as earrings. They really would. Two, no, three in a pack. I was going to say two in a pack. Um, mm. Three pounds ninety-five for your three. That's just over a pound each, which is brilliant. About one pound thirty. Three yeah. point dot 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 dot. Yeah, three recurring. <laughs> Jeanette, my lovely, well done to you as well. Collector in Cumbria, good luck, my lovely. Check the basket out, and that will be yours as well. They are fab. They are absolutely fab. Um, I am wanting them as earrings, though. I think they'd look nice. Mm. Maybe just a, with chain. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to bring you some nuggets now. 
Not chicken nuggets, not veg nuggets. Green amethyst nuggets. Oh, it's such a pretty colour. They are beautiful. They are, aren't they? Mm, they are. It's like a proper minty green that you're getting with these ones. How fresh is that? Fresh. Ah. Oh. £2.95 and you're getting an 85 centimetre strand. It's massive! That's a whole lot of bang for your buck. Restrand it, turn it into a necklace for £2.95. That's brilliant, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely brilliant. You can, of course, strand it in various different ways. So you have a couple of lengths if you wanted to and then attach a really nice clasp on there as well. Intersperse them with pearls, maybe. The choice is yours. Mm. The opportunities are endless! Just thinking those um, clasps, the swivel clasp, would look really nice with that because they of the, would. the tone of them. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Really well. Anila's there, Heather's there, Violet's there, Susan's there. We're two of these. Well done to all of you, my lovelies. They, they are a really lovely, fresh, bright, yeah, vibrant, clean, and clean, vibrant. Yeah, yeah. clean, clean colour. I do yeah. like that. It's a very distinctive green, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, I like it as well. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Loads of you coming in for this one. Don't blame you. Loads of you multi buying as well. Hold those lines, my darlings. Keep coming in for that one. Um, say that one again, my love. Yeah. Carnelian. Oh. Yeah. Used for centuries. Was used quite frequently by the Romans as seals. You know, seal rings. Yeah. Yeah. Signet Carved rings or and, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the wax wouldn't stick to it. It's a lovely gemstone. Quite often you find that it is, if you're buying it in the industry, quite often you find f fakes. So it's nice to actually have the real thing. Um, £3.95 as well. Tiny price! Tiny, tiny, tiny price. It is such a classic in antiquity. It is, it's yeah. one of those that you will read about in so many different texts. Yeah. And it's brilliant. Works really nicely with garnet as well, which yes. is another historical gemstone. Yes. Yeah. like found in, well, the Saxon hoard had garnet pieces in. Oh, did it? Yeah, in sword hilts and Ooh. stuff, yeah. But carnelian and, and garnet look amazing together. Ooh. They look really nice. Yeah, I can imagine it would have fat. Yeah. I've got some purple garnet. Oh. Oh, yeah. I like that. Really nice, really nice. Linda's already there on this one. Um, so's Judith, so's Anila. It is just for me an ultimate. When I started looking at the various properties of gemstones, so that's one of my interests as well, because um, I do the crystal yeah. therapy side of things. Um, this was one that was supposed to be associated with the ability to speak. Ah. So public speaking and various things like that. Which oh, I quite like the nice. idea of, particularly yeah. doing presenting yeah, and acting. Job, it's, yeah. But it's whether you believe in those kind of things. I, I love the idea of it. But associated with speaking. <laughs> no. No, I have to give you the confidence, apparently. Whether it does or not, who knows? Who knows? I can see that it would, because it's a, it's a really strong... Um, positive sort of colour isn't it? Yeah, so orange is a really positive colour. Yeah. It's, it's got the fieriness and the intensity and the sort of pride of red. Yeah. And then the bubbliness and the light-heartedness of mm. yellow and the mm. joyfulness of yellow. So it impacts in two completely different ways if you're yeah. looking at colour therapies as well. Yeah. Love nice. it. Hold those really lines. Nice. Love those lines. How about some peach quartzite? Where am I looking? Do, 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 do. What size are they, darling? Two mil. Non faceted. Yeah, I got them. Ooh. Ooh. These are clusters peach quartzite. Aren't they cute? They are. Yep. Two mil. Two pound ninety five. What would you do with these? I think uh, with these, if I was um, making flowers, because we've had a lot of um, top drill drops, 
making flowers and then making little beady beads for the flower centers yes. works so well yeah, yeah but just making simple stacker bracelets with these it works well Love or, stacker um, bracelets. or just maybe using them as spaces yeah. in with your pearls or you know some of your bigger gemstones mm -hmm. so i think these these are lovely actually little rings as well would be so cute with these yeah they'd be really comfortable as really well really nice yeah they're not yeah they're not too bulky are they brilliant price yeah grab them stockpile them um mm. i'm going to be bringing to you something really cheeky 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 i did give you a heads up about these a little bit earlier on um we we start buying them we are looking at actual blue diamonds it's your star buy <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. At least that's what they say. They do. They do. They do, they do. This is where I've closed this now when I wasn't supposed to close it because it had been oh. opened for me. And Mike. Good work. Thank you, Mike. Oh, they're nice. They really are. Blue is a stunning colour to have in a diamond. And you're actually getting three of them in a pack. It's 32 carats that you're getting, and they have been beautifully, beautifully faceted. Can we just... Um, oh, the three mil. Three mil rounds. So there's one thing about a diamond that is completely different to a uh, coloured gemstone and that's how they facet them so a lapidrist would be faceting the coloured gemstones a lapidrist would never facet a diamond ah. you actually have two different types of people who facet a diamond you have a brillianteer and you have a cross worker and they are in charge of faceting specific points on a diamond and they have a very regimented way of doing it to get the best out of the diamond oh okay so you start off with sort of the table and, and then move to various different top, bottom, top, bottom, and they have yeah. the last, um, the last ones go to the, I think it's the brilliant here is the last one, or the crosswork, I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head, but you've got the two of them. And they, they make the most incredible, incredible movement of light within the gemstone based on the angles yeah so and it clever. has to be so specific the angles have to be so specific and when you've got a blue diamond which actually has a really deep color you can imagine can't you just how how much more important those angles need to be yeah yeah you're going to notice yeah. more yeah if they're out and also don't you just love the way the light actually dances off the surface of the facets that polish is so important and it's really difficult to polish a diamond because it's the hardest gemstone. Yeah. So you have to use a diamond to polish a diamond, basically. Yeah. And a diamond has different hardnesses in different directions. So you have to have the, the powder, the diamond powder, facing in lots of different directions for it to give an overall proper finish to it. It is really a complicated gemstone to bring to you in this kind of quality. I think we overlook that when we see diamonds. I know we know they're yeah. rare, they're beautiful, yeah. they're, they're normally very expensive, but it's because of all the work and effort and how hard they are. And right now, we are giving you a chance to make in your own jewellery. And how good is that going to feel, working with diamonds? Oh, I'm real. <gasps> how good is it going to feel, working with diamonds, when the price is that low? You're getting three of those diamonds. You're actually getting three what? of those diamonds for that. I don't remember that being the price, ever for... That, I'm really excited about that. That is phenomenal. I, you wow. use one in a ring. Yeah. Well, I've got that that is about the same size. That's what I do with the blue diamond, is just 
really simple, yeah. Bezel set. Bezel set, yeah. Because the quality is there. Yeah. And it's beautiful to do with a coloured diamond as well yeah. because it's not actually as important about the way the light comes out of it as how it dances off the surface of the stone. Yeah. So to have a closed setting to it, it still would work really beautifully. But to have blue diamonds at that price is absolutely ridiculously good. David's already got his. Well done, my lovely. Seriously well done. That is incredible. Um, they're going to come to you in this lovely little pack, all three of them, beautifully separated apart, sitting on a little cushion. Kind of deserves that, doesn't it? It does. It it's um, really showing up how blue they are when yes. you're seeing them on that white. Um, just tilt that slightly. That's Hello. really showing how incredible they are. Beautiful blue. They really are, aren't they? Quite often yeah. with diamonds, they can be an inky blue, but this is a real, yeah, it's a no, steely this blue. Yeah, this is a really nice colour. Really good. If I was going to compare it to any other colour, I'd be comparing it to sort of indicolites. That yeah. steely, inky, beautiful, well, not inky, but the, the beautiful blue that you get yeah. with a, an indicolite. Or um, like a blue zircon oh, colour as well. Oh, yes. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they've got a real life about them, a brilliance about them, haven't they, these? Yeah, they're, yeah even they're though they've got a really dark colour, colour. you've still seen the light yeah, coming out of them, are. which is beautiful. Yeah, absolutely amazing quality. All too often with a green in particular, as well as the blue, you do tend to lose that brilliance. Yeah. But this is really showing it off. It's a high quality finish that you're getting to each and every single one of these. They are stunning. Absolutely yeah, stunning. Fabulous. Do love that effect. <laughs> I could just sit and look at those for hours, you know. You, you, you can. You absolutely can. Fantastic. That's the beauty and fascination of diamonds, particularly coloured diamonds. Aren't they just... Again, it's breathtaking. Yeah. Some of the most famous diamonds in the world are coloured diamonds, aren't they? I mean, if you think about um, the Hope Diamond. Yep. The blue, but sort of a grey blue is what that gets. But this is a real intense, beautiful, striking blue. Three millimeter round. Just one of them on a ring. Yeah. Have you? What was your job before? Oh, did you? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Wayne's just uh, said he has sort of sold di uh, diamonds like this in jewellery itself because he worked at a jeweller's previously. Um, and he said, how much was it you said? 499 in gold. Well, those are the kind of prices you expect to see diamonds yeah. in gold, isn't it? Yeah, For yeah, one. definitely. And that, that's the sort of, well, you know, you, when you're looking at insurance costs, Yes. You need to consider that because you might have paid fifty nine ninety five for the three, but you need to actually make sure that you're because you might not be able to replace it at no. fifty nine ninety five. You might never see them again. No. And the quality of these is so good, you need to get it properly insured. Yeah. So the, the, the nice thing about this as well is you can, if you wanted to, take this to a jeweller. If you can find a yeah. bench jeweller who can yeah. make jewellery from scratch, yeah. you can get them to make you a ring or a pendant and you can design it with them. You'll have to pay for that, the privilege of course, but it's going to cost you a lot less than if you went in and got a pre-made ring. Yeah. Because you get it personalised to you, you've chosen your very own diamonds. You've chosen the ones that you want in there, not ones that have been pre-made and are sitting on the side and you kind of go, oh, all right, I'll have that one. This becomes personal to you then. It could be a gift to somebody in your family and you can say, now you can go and make your own piece of jewellery. You can turn these into the most amazing pair of earrings or the most amazing uh, yeah. ring. It, you've got everything you could possibly want there. Three of them in total, you can have a suite of jewellery. Ring, earrings, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And at that price point, that is brilliant yeah absolutely brilliant is. they're amazing they are beautiful incredible quality yeah. and I think I think three you could actually have a really nice trilogy ring yeah that those. would be very luxurious wouldn't, wouldn't it yeah 
but very luxurious. Be a lovely treat for yourself. Do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to have them invisible sets so they looked like they were hovering. Yeah, like a tension set. Yeah, tension setting. Yeah. Um, in white gold. Mm. Yeah. That is really lovely. Congratulations if you get a hold of these. They are something very exquisite. Um, if they are in your basket, check those baskets out because I can see those going very, very quickly. Yeah, that's something very special, so well done. Love it. Now, Peridot faceted rondelles. Oh, these are a nice size, aren't they? Oh, they're pretty. They're dainty. Mm. Dainty. Aren't they lovely? Absolutely lovely. I always look at this and think lime green, but it's not lime green. No, it's not. No. Kiwi green. Mm. Like the flesh, not the furry bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six ninety-five. It is a really intense. It's the kind of it's the lime syrup. Yeah. Ice cream lime syrup, which I can't find anywhere. No. I had it as a kid. And I loved it, and all of a sudden, nobody does lime syrup. No, no. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I remember that as well. Um, no, but it's, 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 it's one of those colours that yeah. is so beautiful. And again, it's, it's a really distinctive green, isn't mm. it? So, to actually be able to use peridot. Because a lot of the high-end designers use peridot yeah. in their pieces because it is such an amazing, incredible, just strength of green. Did you so know? To get it. It's the only other gemstone apart from a diamond that forms in the mantle of the earth. Mm. It's a tough little thing. It is. Mm. It is, yeah. Absolutely is. Well, you think how clear it is as well. It's brilliant. Grab yeah. it while you can. Now, what's next? Rose quartz faceted rounds. I won't twiddle with the ends. No. I kind of want to, to see if I can do it one-handed <laughs> yeah, again. do it one-handed. Can I undo it? Um, no, they, they are lovely. Again, this size is fabulous. It's eight millimetres in size. Um, you've got a lovely sheen to these. Because they're faceted all over the rounds, you get the most amazing scintillation. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, working those with the rose quartz flowers yep. we had would be yep. really nice. It's just nice to see because quite often when you've got a lighter coloured stone, you don't expect to see the luster in the same way as if it was something like no, that's uh, true. spinel. Yeah. But look at this, isn't that incredible? So you've got the most amazing finish. Gorgeous. Not six pounds ninety-five though. No, 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 no. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Tonight it's going lower. Four ninety-five. Earrings. Yeah. Earrings, really wouldn't they be earrings. gorgeous as earrings? Wouldn't they be absolutely Single brilliant? Single one for a ring. Yes. Or, um, well, actually, just a single one on a chain. If you put just one on a chain, mm. you know, they're, they're a really nice, really nice size. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Hold those lines. Keep checking those baskets out. Believe it or not, it's time for me to say a huge thank you to you, oh, Deb, my gorgeous thanks, lady. Thanks, Thank you very much. When are you back with us again? Uh, second the second and i'll be back with you on the first i believe so you're on sunday yeah and i'm on on saturday on the late uh, which is brilliant let's have a cheeky sneaky look at the jewelry one more time that was made oh because we did give you the challenge of course in the space of two <laughs> hours and a demo so not really in the space of two hours um you've made the most amazing piece of jewelry thanks i enjoyed that I can't actually believe you did that in that space of time. I just, 
I've still got loads of pearls left, though. You have as well. Those pearls were our must-have today. They are still available. So if you want to create that gorgeous design, um, just have a look back and you will be able to get a hold of them. And, of course, you can see the design there. It's, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. If you do want to look at any of the other um, tutorials, then watch on YouTube a little bit later on. And if you're watching the repeats right now, you're about to go through at 8 a.m. in the morning to a brand new day, brand new deals. So thank you very much to every single one of you for joining us. It's been an amazing pleasure. Debs, we'll see you on Sunday. I'll see you on Saturday. Love to all of you. Good night. <laughs>